All right, guys, so we are going to have an awesome stream today. It's gonna to get a little technical, so uh, apologies if we do a lot of, uh, of oh, oh, I made a sound. <laughs> Why stream? What waterfall, what is it? I'm trying to do math. Why are you doing math? That's not a good idea to do math. <laughs> On stream, especially, because you're I'm definitely going to get it wrong. Um, I was helping out the Ice King, but I think it's time to uh, head on over to our main project today, which is, of course, going to be working on our interdimensional tunnel. And I had an amazing piece of advice from Pie Guy on this, so I think we're going to go check that out. And I have to find my way out of here first and then figure out how to get home. So uh, I guess while I do that, I'll just uh, you know say hi to all you guys. How are you doing? Yeah, poor items. I know. Do I, I oh hello a little bit of some of the good stuff anything else in there no I don't think so no it doesn't look like it okay all right so <laughs> lava flow confirmed you know I am I have yet to see lava flow we do have a water flow here 7x plus 7 equals 3x plus 5 snake says solve for x Okay, so let's see, you subtract 3x from both sides, so that's 4x plus 7 equals 5. You subtract 7 from the other side, so that's 4x equals negative 2. So that means x would be equal to negative 2 divided by 4, which would be negative 1 half? Did I get that right, Snake? <laughs> Worth a shot. On stream, no, no less. <laughs> Stop doing math. Okay, I'm sorry. Snake made me. Snake made me. <laughs> um, so, so this is the unfortunate location where the Ice King died. I, I, I found a bunch of deep slate. Uh oh. Did you guys hear that? Uh oh. Uh oh. It's not good. It's dark. <laughs> it's deep and it's dark. <laughs> okay. I think it's time we get out of here before we die and lose all of our good stuff. <laughs> Which uh. By the way, I'm kind of a DM on this server, so uh, all this really good stuff, it doesn't really matter all that much to me. <laughs> oh man, yeah. We're not gonna be, uh, we're not gonna be fighting, uh, fighting a warden today. No magic items for you, water flow. You gotta work for them. Though uh, I do need to make water flow a, a teleport at some point. Actually, do you guys wanna see some of the teleports on the server real quick? I'll show you a new one that, that I haven't shown on camera yet before we head on over to our main project. So, as you all know, oh, I'm in snow. Oh no. <laughs> Gosh darn it, the Ice King made this whole island covered in snow. I swear that guy. I swear. <laughs> the netherite armor. Yeah, but you remember, I'm a cheater. There's no value to items <laughs> for me. <laughs> uh, but I, I used to play survival on this server a lot until I started making a lot of the quests. Um, yeah, the uh, the snow, the snow is a real problem. The Ice King made this, uh, I don't know if I showed this in the Trog stream I did uh, last week. Way up there, let's zoom all the way in. There's a satellite and that is actually uh, the, oh gosh, what was it? It's like an ice. It's like the winter machine, the winter storm machine. And uh, he, he basically covered the entire island in snow. Um, so that this used to not look like this. <laughs> Darn Ice King always causing problems on this server like this thing. This is just, <laughs> it's ridiculous. All survival too. He is such a grinder. Um, yes, I would love suggestions. I always take suggestions. Um, yeah, so one thing I wanted to show you guys. So as you know, we kind of have this concept of a survival donut, which means right now in the center of the world, players are in survival mode. But when they step out to about 500 blocks, they get put into adventure. And then 8,000 blocks from that, they're back in survival. So what's really cool about that is usually players will go all the way out to 8,000 blocks. They make their mega bases and all that. And once they've established a foothold, I then create a teleport for them. And so, oh no, <laughs> you, you okay? <laughs> um, okay, Helonia Clip says, if you have not already, once people complete the whole map, they should be able to do a playthrough where you can collect all the magic items and be able to play around with them on the server. I love that idea. Yes, that is a fantastic idea. Yes, <laughs> sorry, Event Horizon. Okay, so here's a really cool teleport. I like to use books as a way to kind of make lore sequences because you know the idea is actually the idea is when you when you flip a book you're like reading you're like reading lore right and so we have some sneaky command blocks hidden under this one 
And so all I have to do is I flip this book here and we're in our cutscene. I thought this was pretty cool. It has been a long, it has been long. We've been busy. Indeed. The return of Ulm has brought great suffering to this world, which is why we must stop him. And it's why our society exists in the first place. Hmm. <laughs> so then, you must know why we are being summoned after all these years. There's a new recruit? Well, yes. But aren't you aware of who the candidate is? No. What do you know that I don't? How do I put this? It's your son, Cassius! Lightning? Sigh. I guess there's no lightning. I should have known this would happen. Hmm. First my boy Latrius, and now Cassius. I'm so sorry you had to hear this from me, and I'm sorry to say there's more. There's lightning. No? What more could there be? Oh, right. It comes now. Your son, he's been corrupt. Who's there? What? Don't tell me you don't recognize an old friend. Awesome. Awesome. Well, what are you waiting for? Let's get this show on the road. Yes, I suppose we should go. Right. Let's talk more when we get to Vilethorn. These cutscenes are multiplayer friendly. Thank you for asking. Yeah. Um, totally multiplayer friendly. Works. All in vanilla. Actually, uh, the, the room looks something, uh, it's a giant mess, as you guys know. <laughs> I make these giant rooms. <laughs> Yeah, I had a voice crack there. I, the donut, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, funny beat, all about the adventure donut. But yeah, this is uh, this is our room. This controls the entire flow of the cutscene. And uh, yeah, somebody can walk in, into the church when the cutscene is going. Um, and it, it is very funny when that happens. Yep, absolutely. But uh, here's, here's another one. So I love using books to kind of initiate lore. Um, I also did that on the Vilethorn boss cutscene just before the boss. But... Uh, does that make them official lore funny bee if they walk in on the cutscene? I mean, it's a memory. So like think of it think of it like here's the cuts here's this one by the way. You you do you find yourself dozing off while you read a book and you just fly up into the heavens and then I drift away in a book and you're at Sterling Cape, city of sand. And this city is really cool. It's home to the uh epic map of lagginess um that i it's the it is the largest map i have ever seen um let's actually go look at that really quickly and then we have to then we have to start uh, our our what we're actually intending to do this uh, do on this stream today where is that map oh i gotta find it it's it's the biggest map you have ever seen yes oh i love that idea funny b of a quest where you're like stuck in a memory that is such a cool idea and that's whoa look at this terrain generation Ooh, that's neat. Event Horizon, use their magic mirror. Uh, <laughs> getting stuck in a memory is a great idea because what you can do is whatever happens in that memory then uh, ideally doesn't affect the world around it. And so you can kind of get away with doing some crazy things. Um, this map has evaded me. Where are you, map? Let's switch into spectator and we'll go fast. This is something you can only do in Java, is you can change the speed at which you fly in spectator mode. Lag. Yeah, this is not my build. <laughs> I'm trying to see where that map is because I'm actually a little confused. I'm a little lost. Oh, Event Horizon's on his rocket ship. Oi! That's what happens when you load terrain. Yeah, Bedrock doesn't even have spectator. Well, good to know. Yeah. I'm not sure if I'm gonna find this thing. I know it's around here somewhere. Hold on. Terrain, load. Yeah, I'm not seeing it. Team Rocket blasting off again. Yeah, I actually show that rocket in my teleport uh, video. And, and it's pretty cool. Uh, Event Horizon got a super moon that I made in my second ever video. And, uh, oh, this is looking familiar. I found it. Uh, here we go. Okay, you ready for this? This is gonna lag the whole server. I'm sorry, server. Here we go. Da doop. Uh, uh, I had to move this out here because there are so many entities. Where is it? There. Oh God. <laughs> This was done in vanilla. <gasps> this was done by hand. Yeah. It adds like 
thousands of entities. So it, it ends up, um, it, it ends up uh, causing a lot of problems for the server. Yeah, this this was done by Pro MacGyver there in my Discord, and uh, whoo, <laughs> this thing is just. I, I I coded it into a structure block and moved it out of their base um, because because it, every time Pro MacGyver logged in, the server died. <laughs> uh, at most 400 entities. Let's take a look. Let's see here. Execute if entity at e. Oh, how does this one work though? Um, let's just say distance for now, and this will include myself, and we'll say maybe 30. Yeah. 961 entities <laughs> just in this map and it may not sound like a lot but i'm i'm a i'm a big optimizer when it comes to my quests um ooh, use their curse magic mirror that's fun so yeah uh not including me and if we look at f3 for a second here let's see where uh where are my frames so my frames drop dramatically uh where i'm trying to even see where they are um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah, so we turn in this direction And then we turn back Oh <laughs> You can just see it I go from 65 99 100 frames per second over 100 frames to then uh, uh, 38 so so yeah, we, we try not to go to that map very often it is it is a marvel, but uh, it, it can't be loaded all the time, or it, it murders the server. But uh, Pro MacGyver, uh, he's working on a giant city out here. It's gonna take a long time though, but I, I am super excited for it. So, anyways, I think it's time to uh, to start working on the task at hand today, you guys. So let's start talking about some technical stuff. Uh, non optimizers. I have a lot of. Okay, so I am running on a vanilla server right now. Um, and just talking about server optimization. And the reason for that, because a lot of people I think would make, um, would use like, oh gosh, what are some of the other server flavors? Purper maybe, um, and some other variants. Um, problem is uh, they actually don't work on our server. And there's this kind of crazy bug that I filed with uh, the Fabric developers. I think it's Fabric. I hope it's Fabric. Um, but uh, basically whenever you have an item that has just glint only, like, uh, like, uh, if you guys remember, let me see if I can find one here. Let's see. Let's check if, if Django has something in his base. He's in the pirate cove over here. This is Cassie's Isle. And if we go check out this base, items that have just glint only actually lose their glint. Yeah, water flow, you know of it. This one, this one here. If you were to take this head, which has, is glint, but has no actual effects, um, thank you, paper, right? I get them so mixed up all the time. Um, because, you know, paper and fabric are kind of like these, you know, just, to me, my brain lumps them together. <laughs> it calls fabric when it's paper. I'm so sorry, I get things wrong. <laughs> um, but anyways, yeah, uh, paper will actually remove the glint on uh, these types of items. And so um, when you try to trade with the item, especially, so what happens is then the item no longer works as a, as a quest item. It's completely broken. Um, so yeah. So what I did is I filed a bug with them um, and I might, I don't think I have the time to fix it. it if it's, because I do know Java, so I could potentially try to, I, the bug's been filed though for a couple months now. My guess is they're not gonna, I'm gonna, I'm a little worried about that. So <laughs> but anyways, yeah, um, that's why I'm on an unoptimized just regular vanilla server. I wish I had, I wish I had a better, more efficient server running this, but uh, that's that's what we have right now. So, okay, uh, Helona Clip says, you should make a space themed boss and a boss that makes the whole server night forever. Oh yeah. I love the idea of a world based boss. I think that is such a cool idea to have the boss affect the entire overworld. Um, space themed, that's also super cool. I'd have to think about how it fits into the lore, but I think there's something we can do. So, yeah. Um, Funny B, personally, I'd use Fabric, which is odd for most people. You can make it a server only, server only mods. I use Lithium, Starlight, Optimize. Yep, yep, yep. Destroyer Clock, uh, yep, they've had that issue for three years and they're not fixing it. Oh no. Why are you using the Wanda Midnight? <laughs> okay, it's midnight now. <laughs> Something's happening. Hello, creepers. Uh, if you guys remember, this is from my last video where we were trying to figure out the uh, the, the sliding squishy walls of doom. So uh, so I believe if we head into spectator mode, we are gonna head down into 
the quest. So layer one of the quest, all over here, sus. We're gonna talk about sus today. We're gonna talk about why, uh, some people think some of my, uh, some of my walls are sus, and so we're really gonna make them sus. That's something I wanna work on today. Um, but we're gonna head over here to the dark gate. Yes, yes, beautiful. I love this thing. Uh, who says it needs to fit the lore? Just make it some kind of conquistador or whatever. Sure, that's true. Technically, that fits the lore still. So maybe. <laughs> Take a sip of tea for a second. Mm. I'm drinking tea today, guys, not coffee. Uh, I just feel like I'm getting a little too jittery lately, drinking too much coffee. So we are at the dark gate. And the reason we're here is because there's something I want to copy in the command room just below. So let's take a look at that. Conquistadors always fit the lore. <laughs> the story of Conqu uh, Duvid, I'm drinking some black tea, which is basically the coffee of tea um, because I am not British. <laughs> I am not British. <laughs> no, uh, no, I, I just, you know, I'm drinking some tea. I just thought it'd be nice for me to get a little bit of change. Um, okay. So the reason I'm in here is because I need to steal a couple of commands. Do, 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 Belias root, reset the weights, reset the gates, reset the lamentous flower, the cauldron. Where, oh, where, oh, is our slime spawned? Licorice, licorice is a bit bitter for me, Duvid. I don't know. I don't know if I, I don't know if I could, if I could support you on that one. Um, <laughs> okay, here we go. You're British, red dust is British and doesn't even like tea. I mean, that is okay, I think. But see, I don't have a problem with you not liking tea, Red Dust. I have a problem with you not liking pizza. You're banished, Waterflow. Banishment, you're banished. You're banished. Everyone who doesn't like pizza, you're banished. <laughs> How could you not like pizza? I mean, there's so many things to like about pizza. Um, so anyways, I'm gonna steal these two commands here because this is going to be part of what we're working on today. And I'm also gonna steal one of these and one of these. And I think that's probably it. Red Dust has been banished for at least 24 hours now. Pizza with pineapple. Yes, pizza with pineapple, Lucas, yes. Um, I drink, Destroyer of Clock drinks water, prefers your water without beans. Oh, well, when you put it that way, I don't think I'd want it either. <laughs> okay, so I I think I think I have everything I need. So what are we doing? Well, we're gonna head on into zoop, into the tunnel, and we're gonna head down to the end of the tunnel. And if you saw from the thumbnail, we're actually gonna be working on the ephemeral platforms. For those of you who don't know, the word ephemeral means uh, like temporary. And that, that's kind of why I, uh, that's, that's where I came up with the idea. So, you know, they're temporary. They're like, they disappear. But somebody pointed out, I believe it was Pi Guy. I hope, I hope I'm getting that right. Uh, pointed out that, uh, that there's a cooler way to make these platforms ephemeral other than just walking on them. Because this is, this is kind of easy. You know, it's me. It's just, you know, what, what is this? This was, you know what this is? This is something to fill the last three and a half minutes of a 23 minute episode. That's what this is. <laughs> so, so, um, <laughs> coffee drinkers. Yes, uh, who in the right, Duvid? Yes, it's, uh, they're talking about coffee when they're talking about putting beans in water. Um, so what we are going to work on today is we are going to change the way that the mechanics of the ephemeral platforms work. So right now, all they do, there's two commands, and I'll just show you guys what those look like really quickly. So the first command here, uh, it's temporary right now. It says execute at the nearest player. We're, we're probably gonna tweak this, but basically we fill a 10 block cube around the player with light and replace any frog lights. So a big cube, 10, 10, 10 block cube. But then immediately after that, we fill all of the frog lights with light in a smaller cube. And that is how we make this entire thing work. It's two commands. The smaller cube is, uh, is four, it looks like negative, it's like kind of four, four by four by four. 
Um, and so and so that's exactly how this works. It's just two commands. So we're we're always filling in the the light level zero block first, really far away, and then immediately after we're filling in close to us the um, the the frog lights here. So I, I think this is cool, but I think we can do better. And I loved a suggestion by uh, by a viewer on that video. So uh, yeah. So how is it gonna work? And why did I copy the slime commands? Well, let's get these down here. We'll talk a little bit about this. And how do people feel about the volume of the music here? Just let me know, let me know in the comments. Um, <laughs> we are also getting a lot of people talking about coffee versus tea in the comments. Um, water is a really good, and water. Okay, volume's good, pretty good, everything's good, water. Best drink when cold. Yes, I have water next to me as well. I have a giant thermo flask. Um, it, it is like, it's like two liters of water. So I'm gonna have to take a break at some point. <laughs> milk, milk is good though. I'm a big fan of oat milk, to be honest. Uh, I hope that doesn't make anybody upset. Almond milk, eh, I used to be, but I like oat milk better now. Okay, so I need to come up with some kind of design Water flow, stop drinking me, and he leaves the game. All right. <laughs> so what I wanna do is I wanna come up with these kind of things that are hanging from the ceiling. And I, I haven't thought at all about the design yet. It has to fit this area. But what I'm thinking is instead of players just walking up to the ephemeral platforms and them just showing up, what if they shot a mining arrow at whatever these things are hanging from the ceiling, the mining arrow like sprays all of these particles for a small amount of time, and then, uh, and then that will reveal the platforms. And so you kind of have to like shoot, and then you can kind of see where the platforms are, you run really quickly, you get over to them, right? And then, and then, they dis and then it disappears. I think that'll be really cool loose parts of the ceiling, that's an idea, or like it could be chandeliers, or yeah, exactly. Like, I want it to be I want it to be thematic. So, you know, it really needs to fit the lore of this tunnel. Lore. The lore of this whatever that means. <laughs> but also, yeah, I, I want the mechanics to be really cool and I and I want it to just feel really, really tight. So we're gonna talk about particles. We're gonna talk about uh yep, we're gonna do we're gonna do some sound design. Um barriers plus uh the drip particle could be the drip particle, definitely. Um and uh and yeah, so let's take a look at that. Um and another thing I didn't show is, uh, let's see, me. Because I got a lot of comments on this. Um, people are like, why can't you just jump off the side? Well, because I did this. That's why. <laughs> this goes, and it goes all the way down. So, so yeah, I, I saw a comment on barrier and I figured I might as well show you. Okay, so what is this thing gonna look like up there is the question. What is it gonna look like? Um, let's see. Well, I could think of it being a chandelier or parts of parts of the ceiling. Let's talk about pallets. Let's see. What are some what are some blocks we're gonna work with? I did not use fill for those barriers. I actually used another armor stand. Uh oh gosh, I gotta think of a name though. Barius! Barris! <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I did. I, I put an armor stand all the way through when I drilled this hole down at the bottom so that players can fall down through. So this goes down straight to the void. And that's kind of cool looking at it from the bottom here. Barius. Upside down platform to hand up slime. Um, I Yeah, I'm thinking like either a platform or like a... Let me just, let me just work something out here. So I know I want a wall of some kind. Let's see, let's just make sure, let's put a, some stuff, some important stuff in a chest so I don't lose it. Okay, we're gonna put that chest down here. And we're gonna drop some of this important stuff in just so we have it. I like the idea of using a skull catalyst. Um, Hello in Eclipse says, the space boss could be like the boss of bosses, a secretly teamed with the portal keeper boss. That's a cool idea. Yeah. <laughs> I love the idea of these bosses teaming up. That's actually pretty cool. Um, Yep, that's a cool idea. So let's see, Skull Catalyst, when they shoot uh, them, a bit of the roof falls off. Ooh, that's a cool idea. All right, I'll play around with that. I'm glad you, Duvid, I'm glad you like the uh, the time lapse with the armor stand there. Boss rush mode is coming. Once I have all the bosses done, I actually am going to do that. Um, if you guys have ever played Super Mario Galaxy, uh, there's a boss rush mode and uh, I love it. I think it's that's one of my favorite things in that game. Um, okay. 
So let's talk about some blocks here. Let's talk about some blocks. We're gonna, I need a wall. I need walls. I like walls. Hmm, blackstone. Yeah, so we've been using a lot of blackstone. So what I'm gonna do actually is shamelessly copy the color palette from the door over here. Yo, lots of yo's in the chat. Is that for Mario Galaxy or for boss rush mode or for both? I think both are definitely acceptable. Let's grab some mud. Let's grab some of this, some of this ugly block. I got a lot of, uh, I got a lot of people saying they really didn't like the look of the crying obsidian in Cloud's Rest. I don't blame you. It's a little much. I'm thinking about texturing it a bit, um, but let me know what you guys think. So I want to make something that really pops, but these are some good base materials to start with. Um, both. Avid Adventures Cuphead Edition, yes. I will play Cuphead. I just wanna let you know, I I actually can play games. I'm not as bad as I as I have been. Um, I will prove myself to you one day. Stream, <laughs> I, I promise. Uh, um, yeah, people probably don't know why the Obsidian is there, and it, but I think it could look better. So that is something I, I just wanna keep in the back of my mind. Um, so like, let's, let's, let's brainstorm for a minute here. I'm like sitting back in my chair with my hands, like, you know, rubbing together, trying to really think about this. So what, what would be hanging from the ceiling of, it's gotta look organic, I think. I think it has to, I think it has to be skulky, but there's a lot of skulk already. Um, ooh, but that does have me thinking. Does anybody know how to spell skulk? Cause I don't. <laughs> um, maybe some of these. Yes, because it's a very cool looking block. Maybe some of these. Warped plank. Yep, we could do warped planks. Though the wood, the wood is kind of, yeah, I always mess up spelling skulk to destroyer of clock. I just like all the time, I cannot spell it. Um, the first time, expires, the first time you showed the thumbnail of episode 11, you thought it was an eye boss? Oh, that'd be cool. I'm gonna, since you all are, are, are all here on the stream, I'm gonna give you a spoiler. This is gonna be a tower defense boss for episode 12. And I have to figure out how to do the AI for it. I'm probably gonna be talking into Discord a bit. Uh, I don't wanna, need, don't get any ideas yet though. Let me, let me think of some ideas first, but uh, it's gonna be super cool. So yeah, 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 get excited for that. Um, warp stems, let's take a look at those. Let's get some of those in the inventory. I like that idea. Uh, da, 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 da. Stripped warp, warp stem, yeah, I like those. Ooh, warp stems could look really good. Ooh, yes. But like, why? I gotta like think about like, why? Why is it there? And I think it's like gonna be some kind of growth. Like, uh, hmm. Let's take, let's just, let's just place some stuff here. I also made the mistake of making this tunnel even <laughs> in, uh, in, in, in width. So we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to play with some even, even, even things right now. Uh, I, d don't worry, I'm not sticking with that. I just want to get some ideas flowing. Um, do water flow? What do you mean by do mist? Oh, meant crimson. Crimson could be cool. Yeah, I think so. Let me just. I want to get the basic shape of it down first. So you know what? We're gonna go completely opposite direction and just kind of sketch this thing out, and then we're gonna clone it a bunch of times too. So. We only have to do it really one time, but if we get it right, then we can maybe have like variable heights. Yeah, okay. But I want it to be like very organic looking. So like maybe we have some pieces like this. Uh-huh, ooh, kind of like a drippy, misty clouds of purple something magic, woo. <laughs> Took the words right out of my mouth, water flow. Took them right out, <laughs> yeah. Uh, hmm. It, like, it doesn't have to, we don't have a lot of real estate to work with, but something as simple as this, and then we just decorate it up, I think could look pretty good. You're distracting me with ideas? Oh, I'm distracted plenty enough, don't worry. It's, uh, I have, I have plenty of my own uh, brain to distract me. Um, yeah, okay. I, I want to, I want to take this in a, in a way that is a lot more organic, like, like almost like what creatures, what plant-like creatures would live on in the other side? You know, like what, what do they look like? And we could just steal some stuff from the nether. You know, that's, that's an idea. Um, but I think, you know, also I have some ideas on how other side is gonna look. 
Skulk is in there. Um, I want to see some end rods maybe in there because I want it to be lit up. Mm hmm. Chorus. Yeah. And maybe we will have some stuff hanging from the ceiling as well. Chorus plants could be cool, but you can't really hang them from the ceiling. Let's try some stuff out here with this, this catalyst. Because now I have the idea for the shape. Oh my gosh. I love that texture from the bottom. Ooh, okay, and that also ties it into the the ceiling of of the uh, of the tunnel really nicely. Um, just two of them though, like that. And then I want that to flow into a similar texture, which I think could be a bone block with a little bit of the skulk. Now some things are flowing. Now, now some things are flowing. Hold on a second. Let's just see how this looks. Like when we when we take a step back. Uh huh. It's like, hold on, I wanna keep that same shape. And we're gonna do some of this deal. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay, all right, bear with me. I think we're gonna mix it up a little bit in there though. I don't want, I think it's a little too white, a little too brightly colored, but I want, I want tension to be drawn up there. Ooh, that's looking pretty cool though. Mm-hmm. Yep, okay, and then maybe we do something like it's almost as if like a civilization like kind of uh, like built into it. Mm -hmm. I'm doing a lot of hum humming and hoeing. <laughs> Too much skulk vein, maybe um, stop using it the lower it goes. Yeah, that's a good idea. Do a little bit of that just so it blends in. Yes. And then maybe we could do a bit more, like these things are meant to look kind of organic. So I do, I, I don't, yeah, I don't want to overdo it too much with like the uh, hoeing, <laughs> humming and hoeing. <laughs> Some of the upper blocks with skulk blocks. Yeah, let's try that. Let's, um, let's do this. Cause I do think this is a nice texture, but if we kind of, ooh. Yeah, that's starting to feel like it's working there. An ancient ritual. Yeah. Needs some more thickness. I think I agree. I think I agree. Mm-hmm. I'm thinking, though, with thickness, is I think I'm done with full blocks for the moment. And I kind of want to work on, like, let's see. Nope, not that. This this and then we'll give it some three-dimensionality hmm hold on a second too much symmetry yep that's probably true it's probably true have one of the skull catalysts go a little lower yeah I think it's a good idea let's do this one Doop. Yes. It's like uh, veins on the upper blocks. Yeah, let's try that. Yeah, let's see how that looks. Hmm, it kind of masks the, I feel like it masks the catalyst a little too much. So I feel like I'm not getting the 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 gradient that I'm looking for. Um, yeah, we'll get the other side in a second. Yeah, I agree, I agree, kind of uh, eh, there. Um, and maybe I want to do one more gradient to get to this last block. And then let's see, let's see. So what could go there? Like you could do a birch. You could do a stripped birch or even the, how do you pronounce, high fey? That's the nether version of it. Like maybe we come down one, mud could work. Hold on. Do we get super gradient-y with this? It's too much. The birch is too much. Mud's mud's right. Mud's right. These are weird things, <laughs> and I like them. I really, I really like them a lot. Um, I kind of want to uh, thicken it out. Yeah, mud is a good solution. I agree. Um, let me play around with this. Try to add some variety on this side as well. 
This might be too much. Yeah, it's too much. Let's see. These are weird. Yeah, glass panes. Veins on mud. We could try that too. Maybe on just one of them though. Oh, that does look good. Let's see, that's too much there. Do some of that deal. Gosh, what even is this thing? Hmm. Spruce between the birch and the mud. Spruce could work. I, I kind of actually like this transition here. I know it's not perfect from a texture wise, you know, transition, but yeah, yeah, maybe I'll scatter the, all right, I'll try scattering the skull fiends a little bit. Mm -hmm. Trying to like activate the RNG generator in my <laughs> random number generator in my brain here. Do a little bit of something like that, maybe under the bone block. It's almost there, but there's something, yeah, I wanna try a little bit of some glass panes. And I think I wanna lean into the purpleness a little bit of this tunnel. And let's see what this ends up looking like here. I actually, okay, this needs some purple. Now, I don't know if that's the right thing, but that color just causes this thing to pop so much in my in my head. Um, now the question is, uh, that kind of deletes our skulk. Let's see, how do we use them effectively is the question. Like, could we do something? Hmm. Purple frog lights could be good. It would blend it a bit with the tunnel. That's interesting. Hold on a second. Um, ooh, instead of the bone? What do you guys think of purple frog lights instead of the bone? Yeah, there are purple ones. These are the purple ones here, clock. Yeah, you like that instead of the bone? Because they do kind of shine a bit more. And then we cover that with skulk. Oh, that looks pretty good. And then they glow. Okay, hold on. My brain's starting to do some things. Alien, think alien. Think like, like alive and evil, not evil, maybe. Like, yeah, like dripping, you know? Yep, put the items I want in my hotbar, hold right click. Uh, yeah, oh, that's kind of a cool idea. Hop our hold, right click, and use my scroll wheel. That's a cool idea. Never thought about that. To get a good, to get a randomizer going. Um, gunky, yeah, gunky. I like, I like gunky. I don't know, that might not sound like a good thing. Mm hmm. About evil. That sentence I said about evil is very important. Um, sure, yeah, <laughs> probably. Uh, let's see. Yeah, get a little more gunky happening here. We'll put another, uh, let's make that two like this. This is starting to feel like something. And then the question is, what does the player shoot? Yeah, look at this thing. It's starting to feel, it's starting to feel like gross. End rods, I want that. Yep, I agree. I'm also thinking about something to kind of, you'll see, hang on a second. Something like this to kind of give them like an origination point. Does that feel too weird? The purple works there. What do you guys think of that, of the walls? Let me know. Um, end rods would work, let's see. Let's take a look at end rods at the end. I agree with that. The walls work. I'm, I'm mixed. I'm mixed on them. Um, I, the, yeah, we'll see. But yeah, oh yeah, look at this. Look at this. Yes. Yep. Uh-huh. Ooh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's weird. It's weird. And it's awesome. Mmm. Huh. What do people feel about the end rods? I have an eh from Destroyer Clock. Walls only one deep. Yeah, that's probably, probably kind of gunky. Gunk is gunky, but gunky's the, gunky's a good thing here, right? I love the end rods, too. What are people thinking? What are people thinking? I think it needs a little more mass on the left side to just kind of balance some things out. Um, so maybe that could be done with some extra, extra something over here. 
And then, let's see, that already looks a little better. Uh, the catalyst, yeah, shooting the catalyst, I think that could be a good idea. Um, I'm actually thinking of having something suspended at the bottom that's shot. Yes, gunky. Uh, but you're right, yeah, ba it doesn't have to be or uh, balanced because it's organic. I really love how this looks. It's very alien, and it should be. It should be. It's, it's, I'm just like racking my brain like, is it missing anything? It should, guys, this should not be pretty. <laughs> so, catalyst and or frog light, I agree. Oh, ah! <laughs> uh, the skulk veins don't fit as much anymore. Let's let's take those out for a second. Let's take them out, or maybe we use them a little more sparingly. Let's see. Do -do -do. Ooh, I lost them. S C skulk. It's an impossible word to spell. Some more around the walls. Yeah, I wanna, let's let's play with that. So maybe we'll do a little bit of skulk near the top, but not nearly as much. And I think that what that does is it adds an, a little bit of extra. Is this a bone? We still have a bone here. Let's switch that out. Yeah. This looks a little funky, this like bottom piece. So I think I'm gonna do something like that. And then we're gonna just, Hold on a second. We're gonna skip the frog light stage on this one and just go straight to, I like having them kind of end at these caps. Yes. And then we'll just take care of the other side now. Yeah, I think it looks really cool. Um, it's like very drippy. <laughs> I think the drippy on the right, I don't like this. I think this adds a little bit too much to the right side. So we'll just, and I know it doesn't have to be balanced, but I have like, just to me that didn't quite fit. And then this piece, I want it to kind of have an origination as well. Like something that just like ties it in. Uh, you know, hang on. Ah, we're gonna do a wall there. Wait, no, the drippy on the right. You want the drippy on the right? Okay, hold on. I think now it makes more sense with the drippy on the right. Um, so let's get a wall there because I just it's it's, a, it's looking a little wide now, but I'm okay with that um, Hold on Yes, and then hang on This is gonna look weird. I don't think this is right We're gonna try it though. Sometimes I use these and they look awesome No, don't, don't even, pretend I didn't even place that block Deep slate walls. Um, I I agree to an extent, though. I have been using the uh, I've been using the blackstone because it kind of has a nice purple in it. Um, yeah, I think I think we'd have to go with it, something nice purple. Uh, something a little that blends with the mud a little bit more. But uh, yeah, I'm feeling good about this. Now it's yeah. Now you know if I were to spend an extra hour on it, I would probably make it a little more symmetrical, like not symmetrical, but have more depth this side and this side. So let's let's maybe do the back just a little bit. Play around with what that's gonna look like. Most people won't see the back, but we might be able to add some, something here. This one, I think this looks really good. Drippy, drippy alien chandelier blocky drippy. <laughs> I really like, I really like drippy things and I don't know why I, I always tend to make things that just drip like this oh that's cool okay let's take a step back yeah I am digging that it's weird it's really weird um there's one thing that's bugging me though I just feel like it's too wide and I feel like this whole chunk I'm sorry I'm sorry my brain won't allow it I want to just shore this up just a little bit. So what we're gonna do, I promise this will look good. I'm gonna do a little bit of that. Yep. Then a little bit of this. And then we get the drippage going. I know, I'm sorry, the thing on the right, I know. Not the drippy on the right. <laughs> we still have some drippy. I, my brain, my brain would not allow it to be that thick, and I think that's, I think that's looking really good now. Yes, 
poor Drippy on the right. F in chat for Drippy on the right. But there are more chandeliers to make, though we're gonna have a we're gonna have a bit of a a pattern here. Well, because I'm gonna use structure blocks, so we're gonna cheat, of course. Um, so that's why I want to make sure that it looks good from all sides. So now we have this side to deal with. And I think I want to see a little bit of drippiness. <laughs> drippiness. I also have a... How many people are bugged by the fact that I have two end rods in my hotbar? Only drippy on the left. <laughs> can't believe I'm even reading this. Um, only drippy on the left and drippy on the left middle and drippy on the middle and drippy on the right middle are left. Says Duvid. Um, <laughs> I don't know how to... I don't even know how to process that message. Um, <laughs> and it makes me laugh. I really, I really like that. That was, that's funny. Um, okay. So I want a drippy that comes down like right down this channel here. So let's replace one of the end rods. Yep. Sorry, funny B for, uh, for having a million of the same. You know what? Actually, let's, let's reorganize my hot bar really quickly here. Just, uh, let's say we'll do that. We'll do that. There, this should, this should help me build. Now, just in case I like, I, I fat finger, you know, one of the end rods. Now I have an end rod um, there. So that, that should help us out. You know, oh, geez. Oh, I thank God we have an end rod right there. <laughs> oh, man. Um, okay. So, yeah. I think we can put a drippy there. Ooh, I actually like this side a lot. Ooh, look at how it kind of spirals up. That's pretty. Banished. I'm banished? I'm already banished. No, don't add parkour to your map, Funny Bee. I'm never going to be able to beat it. <laughs> I can't cheat parkour. I guess I could fly. Um, wow, that's super cool. I really like how this set of drippies kind of has this... <laughs> double banished. Has this, has this angle to it. I kind of want to like do more of that. Like, hold, hold the phone. Mm. Sometimes my brain is like, let's just completely start over, but I don't want to. I really I really do like it. Um, maybe on another one, we'll have some kind of cool pattern to it. Clear end rods. Fine, I'll do it. Anybody notice I have a new name now? Um, uh, Withermax suggested it. So, oh, F, F in chat. <laughs> Triple banished means that you're just banished again. Because if you're banished and then... Unbanished and then banished again. You're just banished. It's kind of like a triple negative. Um, yeah. Anyways, I'm feeling good about this. Um, so, what's next? Let's talk about the mechanics that are going in here. I'm no longer the second. No, I'm no. I am. I have avid YT, which is which is pretty sweet. Quad banished means you're banished. <laughs> Gosh, it's like you guys don't know how banishment works. Um, okay. So the next thing is going to be there will be something that people need to shoot and i guess technically this thing's called a mining arrow so does it have to be an ore what what are people going to shoot chat help me out here what should people what should people shoot in order to cause the ephemeral platforms to show up i i'm going to start scrolling through some stuff here because these are our ore options let's see let's see don't please no don't spam clear avid yt um that do not spam anything um a crystal a sponge that's an interesting idea that would definitely pop lucas a crystal well keep in mind it needs to be a square block deep slate coal could look kind of cool let's play let's, let's put some stuff up there let's see lapis Activated deep slate redstone. Crying obsidian could be a cool idea. I, ooh. That's kind of a cool idea. Amethyst, let's check amethyst. I almost made the ephemeral platforms out of amethyst, um, but it got a little too sparkly. Ha, <laughs> there are no square blocks. All blocks are cubes. You got me. <laughs> yes, but. I'm a two-dimensional being, and so I see all cubes as squares. No, that's that's a that's a stupid bit. Hmm. It's cool looking. This is too distracting. Yeah, that does look better. Um, it's a it's let's just take a let's take a few let's take a few things in here. 
Remember that it'll be glowing. I don't think the deep slate goes... Yeah, I agree, too bright. Um, I think... I'm gonna try this. <sighs> Ooh. I think we're gonna have to move our drippy bit in the front here. To the side. That's okay. I don't like the ores either. I agree. I agree. Technically, it's called the Ore Seeker Potion. Um, but I think we can consider... We can do whatever we want, because, you know, we're... This is our... This is our world. Deep Slate Lapis Snake. Yeah, I think it could. Um... I could see them as hexagons, pentagon squares. That is true. That is very true. I think this could look pretty good. I think that looks really good. And move the thing. This, this thing. What if we, okay, hang on. Do, do, do. I think I kind of see what you're saying. And I, th I think I agree because I want the drippy bit to be a little drippier. Hmm. Or maybe a couple down. You think this? I think it's not drippy enough anymore is my problem. Hold on a second. So we can also do something like this, where we use the skulk to kind of blend it down. Then we go here, and then, I lost my crying obsidian, ah, over here. We do something like this. Yeah, I think, I think I liked the proportions on this one. I think that's the best. I wish, um, I wish this didn't connect. I wish these could be like, well, wait, we can do anything. That's the best part about this. Um, what if we like came off of the side here and made like a drippy boy like this? Come here. It might be too much. Let's see. Uh, it's a little debug stick left drippy. <gasps> you can debug stick that? Hold on a second. What? You can make... Okay, am I about to learn something? Make one go further. Yeah, let me try, let me try this. Hang on, um, okay. I love the debug stick. I'm learning. Debug stick. Let's see. Oh, oh, looks like it can only go like this. It looks like it's kind of stuck there. You can debug stick basically everything. Is there anything I'm missing with the debug stick to make it not want to stick to a wall? And, and guys, keep in mind too, that uh, use the left click. Selected south true, waterlogged false. Oh my goodness. West false, wow. Oh my gosh. This is a, oh, that is so cool. <gasps> I love it. It's so drippy now. We'll make the top one like connect in. Oh, we could do this with all of them. That's so cool. Oh, that's so cool. All right, I'm in. I'm totally in on that. Yeah, now keep in mind, and this is gonna be the unfortunate thing, is this block gets destroyed. So this drippy bit's probably gonna connect. Um, and I think that's just something we live with. I don't think there's anything that we can really do about that. Um, but yeah, let's debug stick some of these other ones. This debug stick is amazing. I barely use it. Oh, it's waterlogged. <laughs> That's so cool. For those of you who don't use this, I mean, myself included, man, you guys need to start using this thing. Uh huh. You make impossible blocks. Okay, let's see. South? Nope. Waterlogged? That's not the one I want. I want this one. Yeah. There we go. Drip. Drip. <laughs> That is super cool. This thing is is very trippy looking. I think it's going to really influence the palette that I go with for the boss fight. Yeah. All right. So the next thing, next thing is let's do a quick test of this block here. Everything's gone. Um, we are going to get, we're going to copy this little spot right here. I don't know how you guys grab the... Uh, exact coordinates of a block. I do a fill command and then I just copy it like that. Funny B. Was Funny B upset about something? Technically it's an item. Technically it's a block. Oh God. <laughs> what are we going to do? I'll have to have another poll. No. <laughs> um, okay. So let's go over here. 
we'll make this into an impulse block and we are going to change where the slime Wow, what, am, what have I done here? Holy moly, execute there if the block there is deep. Wow, I got very complicated with this command. I was probably trying to protect against uh, spawning in multiple slimes, and I think that's pretty cool. So we're gonna execute at that block. F3 plus I is a good one. Um, and then we are going to say execute unless it's crying obsidian. Uh-huh. And if there is not an entity of or slime seeker, wow, this is a very protective function. Basically, I'm saying, okay, put a slime there. If this block isn't crying a obsidian and there isn't already a slime there, so you could basically call this block over and over and over again, and it would, uh, that's, yeah, it's very, very protective. Then we basically say, okay, if all those conditions are true, then we are going to summon a slime at that location, yada, 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 yada. So, Badoop. And if we push this button here, we have our slime. Yay! Okay, so that looks really good. So players would come down here. Oh, and I love how it's highlighted. I think that actually adds to it quite a bit. I think that looks really, really good. What do you guys think? I really, really like that. Yeah, woohoo! So, it, there's already a global uh, function. Function. I should show you guys, because you know I don't use data packs really. Um, so, there's like a global thing a command block room at a spawn chunk um, that does all the logic here. Make a team with the color purple. Ooh, I could do that. I think that would take a little bit of MC stacker. So I might I might have to do that off camera, but I really like that idea. Um, I could, yeah, okay. Or, or I might do that in a moment. Let's just see if this works first. Boom, yay. All right, that's part one. That's part one. So let's make something here. It's gonna do this. And we're gonna steal these coordinates. Global command blocks are laggy. I refuse to use data packs. Set block, um, do, 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 crying obsidian. Add some shakeage. Oh yeah, we're gonna have some effects. Shakeage, maybe we're gonna have. Yeah, we could do a little. We could have a little shaker machine. And this cool thing about it is, once it's not activated, it doesn't really do anything. Um, but yeah. So GG, woohoo! I agree. So, okay. What happens now? What happens now is when that breaks, we're gonna spray a whole bunch of particles, and we are going to highlight for a certain amount of time these blocks. Now there are lots of ways in now there are some there's a lot of things that are going on in, in, in that. First thing that's going on is let's figure out if that block is broken. Um, <laughs> my friend runs an SMP Red Dust says with a few data packs running, and the server has already had three mental breakdowns. <laughs> yeah. Um, be careful with execute at E. That is going to break servers. And that's why that uh, that's why that that map that I showed you guys at the beginning, that is why it causes so, uh, so many problems. Now I have eliminated most of the execute at ease um, with predicates. And if you use execute at E, always, always, always make sure that you're using some kind of distance selector. So execute at E or as E or whatever, provided you, pr you present it with a distance selector, It'll actually, Minecraft will actually evaluate all of the entities in that range, that area first, include that in sort of the, the query, and then it will uh, select the entities based on, I don't know if you say tag is something or whatever, that always includes some kind of distance or DX, DY, DZ. DX, DY, DZ will also do that. It's the same, it's just a giant cube. Okay, so we, Data packs can be very lag efficient, but some people just don't care. Put everything in the tick function, says funny B. Yes, they do. Execute if block, this one, is a crying obsidian. And it currently is, that's great. So, what we wanna do is we're gonna take that command, and instead of saying if block, we're going to say unless block. We're gonna string on a little one of these for now, just just cause, just to see it work. And then I do a little bit of plonk. I do a little bit of shooting like this, bonk. And that does nothing because it was not on. <laughs> so this is kind of the, this is the foundation for detecting whether that block is destroyed. 
So now, if that block is destroyed, uh, maybe I should, uh, maybe I should, I need to give myself a little bit of room here. Let's see. Yes. Doot, doot. Um, and uh, quick question. What do people think about the music? Because I have other music options. I We are currently on chill bass, chill bass. Um, I have chiptune, synthwave, um, kind of a lot of channels from Pretzel. So uh, it's a little limited because YouTube is super, super strict on, on what songs, but all right, cool. Destroyer Clock says good, awesome. Good to hear, music good, all right, awesome. So this is detecting if there's no crying obsidian. That is great. Now we want some particles. Chat, what particles should we use? I want it to be like, psh, like a spray of, of like, light so we could use like electric spark um we could even use the uh what is this this like end rod thing i use that sometimes but it probably won't spray all that much um reverse portable 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 <laughs> reverse porta potty <laughs> that's a portable portal 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 particles what does a reverse portal particle look like uh okay let's see particle Reverse portal at me. Uh, let's do, uh, what is this? What are these again? What is this? Oh, right, size. Um, right, one, 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 at me, me, me. Speed of one, count of 100. Uh, the particle was not visible for anyone, why? Oh, is this, uh, I died goofed? Yes, interesting. Those are the deltas, not the size. Thank you, <laughs> goofed. Uh, interesting. I'm I'm envisioning something a little a little different. Like, I want to try spark for a second. Sparks are kind of cool, but think about it. Maybe I'll like I'll try to I'll try to show you here. So I want the the particles to almost fly out um, like like a cone, sort of. I know, I know that's gonna be kind of hard to get exactly right, but something that, that shows, that just makes it seem like there's like this magic like pouring out of it. Um, okay, let's try the regular part par par particle, portal particles, <laughs> gosh. That is hard to say, I'm not gonna lie. Poof, I see it's a poof. That's an interesting one too. Sonic Boom, we'll check that one out. Is that from, uh, is that the Warden? Oh, wow. That's, that would be a lot to uh, to have continuously pouring out, I think. Um, let's try the regular portal particle, portal, portal particles. And then also, let's scroll through this for a second. Ash, nah, that's not, not bright enough. Um, let's just try something. <sighs> Ooh, but I think the problem with N-Rod particles is, you see that? The problem is they don't have gravity. Do you guys know of any particles that have gravity besides like crying obsidian? <gasps> we could do crying obsidian. I mean, you break obsidian, right? I mean, why wouldn't, why wouldn't this drip tears? What about that? What do you guys think of that one? Falling dust could work. Firework dust. Hang on a second. Let me try something. Do, 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 do. Okay, we are going to put crying obsidian particles at this location on repeat. Pardon, of course. Tear, let's see, a big good, that's good, big, good, big purple, Destroyer of Clock says. Oh, interesting. I didn't realize, so you can get fireworks to move in a direction that you want, Funny B says, if you use that command. Okay, that's very cool. Um, dripping obsidian tear, falling obsidian tear. There, and if I don't specify anything else, let's see. Let's just have them kind of fall out at like one, one, one for now. And we'll have a speed of zero point, I don't know. Let's just, let's see, 10, since it's on, yeah. Let's see what happens there. Hello? 
Uh, no. Why? <laughs> what did I do? Needs redstone. Is it because? Yes, of course. I love that issue. Ooh. <laughs> oh. Okay, let's see the whole thing. So they go away, right? Nothing. And then, yeah, I agree. I thought that looked cool. I thought that looked pretty cool. So, so it goes away. Players are here. I lost my bow. I lost my bow. Sad. Sad day. Let's get a bow. That's not how you spell bow. And then, so players are like, oh, uh, you know, all these chandeliers have all these glowing, see a water flow? Um, and have all these like glowing, I don't know, things to shoot. You shoot them, boom. And then blah, 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 blah. Particles fall down. Platform reveals itself for a certain amount of time as you kind of fall under this particle rain. It's almost like a, oh, it kind of looks like alien blood, like pooling out of this like alien chandelier appendage. Uh, <laughs> it's so cool. It's so cool. I think I'm going to tone down the particles just a little bit just to not destroy anyone's computers if they don't have a very supercharged computer, which I also don't have. Yeah, it still doesn't. That's still pretty good. Um, make If you do that, make the yellow frog lights purple frog lights. Did I? These are purple frog lights. What? Oh, 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 down here. These. Uh, okay. Yes. Um, I will have to be, I, I agree with you. Um, I have to be a little careful because all of these are also purple frog lights. And so I just want to make sure that I, I, uh, I don't accidentally get too close to them and replace. Let's see how this platform goes here. So you jump as long as, oh, that looks so cool. Oh, oh, imagine an entire, oh, imagine the entire hall just being lit up by those guys. That's going to look so cool. It's not the right way. Yeah, okay, this way. Yeah, it doesn't seem like we get too close to them. So I think, okay. Yep, I can, uh, I'm in. I'm in. Uh, pearlescent, pearlescent moon blocks. I love pearlescent moon, by the way. I don't know if, how much you guys watch pearlescent moon. Yeah, that looks really good. Oh, yo, that looks amazing. Yeah, I'm a big, big, big pearlescent moon fan. We have the same skin designer. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like a tiny little YouTuber and Pearl is like million almost followers, but I love Pearl. Yeah, she is, uh, she's amazing. Probably up there as one of the best builders. Like I put up there on builders, my list. Ooh, I don't want to rank anybody, but I'm gonna say my top three is probably B-dub, Scar, and Pearl. Um, and I think maybe Pearl, oh no, I'm ranking somebody. I think Pearl might be the best. Her alien base this season kind of reminds me a lot of what we're making here. Just like this weird, creepy vibe of just, oh no, oh no, I got too close. See, I told you. <laughs> I said, oh no. Oh man. Oh uh, boy. Uh, hang on a second. <laughs> Let's turn this off. I did it. Green. You're right. Green is a really, really good builder. Um, and and I have to say the entity stuff that Green has been working on, I think that is super inspiring too. Um, yeah, that's a good point. But I guess um, Green's kind of new to me. I, I just followed B-dubs and Scar uh, for a while, for forever basically. And so, you know, when Green came to Hermitcraft even, I was like, who is that? <laughs> and now like, Green is obviously, you know, um, I love Green. I think Green is amazing. Um, okay. Yeah, so that's the one thing we have to be super careful of is, uh, like I said, we use the pearlescent uh, F for Event Horizon, everybody. Um, yeah, some lights are missing. I see them. See what I mean? It's dangerous now. We have to be careful, but I think it'll look better. Yes, thank you for pointing that out. You see any others? No. Okay, these blocks, these are permanently off now because they're dangerous. Um... Okay, so the next component of this. So we have we have our spew of alien chandelier blood. The question is, how are we going to light up the lights down below? Because as we can see here, these are all light level zero. You fall right through. So one idea I had, and you guys can let me know what you think. There's, there's, the, there's the easy ways and there are the hard ways to do this. Um, one idea I had is 
there's an invisible armor stand that slowly descends and it kind of works in the same way uh, where it'll highlight or it'll turn the bridge into the pearlescent frog lights um, when it's nearby, but I don't know if I want to use entities for it. F again. Um, so I'm not sure if that's the right way to do it. I could just say, I, I could just be super simple with this and just say, fill this region below this chandelier. I mean, why don't we just do that, right? That seems to be the right way to do it. Yeah, okay. I think I'm gonna do that. And another thing is I am regretting the position of this chandelier with respect to the beginning, like the entrance area. I think it's a little too close. Um, so I'm kind of, I'm going to nudge this back probably, let's say, let's say 10 blocks. So how are we going to do that? We're going to use the clone command. We're going to clone, clone command. Grab the first bit, head on down here. Let's see, somewhere about, jeez, Event Horizon is not having a good time right now. Yes, thank you. Yeah, I will, I will double check. Uh, thanks, Funny B. Yep, I will double check the coordinates are in the right spot. Okay, that seems about right. Copy that. This might drive you guys nuts. This is how I do clones. <laughs> I just kind of like make a template out. Okay, now the next thing we need is we need the lowest, most northwest block. So north, west, okay. And now we're just going to take this point. And let's see, this is actually technically the lowest here. Ew, clone sucks. What, instead of structure blocks? I'll use structure blocks in a second. The reason I want to use clone is because it's going to clean up for me. Um, let's see, yeah. And we'll move back maybe one more block. Okay, let's see this break work. Aha, that worked perfectly. Oh no, <laughs> it's one too high. <laughs> That's funny. Um, so let's try again down here. We'll do this. And now what I want to do is I want to do replace move. And now our chandelier is gone. And it's over here. And it seems to be, yeah, it's good. We just have to fill in the roof now. Wasn't the worst thing that ever happened. You know, I mean, could be better, but usually, uh, usually that happens. And with clone commands, you can destroy an entire build in the matter of moments. Um, so, Structure is better, and we're gonna use it. I agree. I just wanted for that first one. I just wanted to uh, to move it out of the way. Okay. Yep. So let's take this and uh, break that for now. Yep. So we're gonna have to move the positions of all of our crying obsidian. Um, structures are better. I agree. Uh, so we're gonna actually get this into a structure block now, and we're gonna scatter it throughout the hall. Um, but actually, you know what? Before we do that. Let's figure out how to make the platforms beneath it appear. Um, structure block shows the outline of the build. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. I'm a big fan of that. I'm also sometimes lazy. Okay, so let's put back our crying obsidian right in this spot here. And we're gonna grab that coordinate. And we're gonna head back to, let's see. We have to change a lot of these out. That is okay. This is probably the last time we're, because I really like the position of where that is now. I think that makes a lot of sense. So swap out that. So now this should do nothing. That should highlight that block there, which it did. Get F3 off. Okay, swap this out and swap this out. And we know this is gonna work, but why don't we just test it just in case? Oops and clear my inventory and get myself a bow. <laughs> I did it again. <laughs> okay, all right. So this should, in theory, break. Drop the obsidian down, perfect. Um, I think also there should be some kind of, uh, I'm thinking like some kind of boom and a sound effect, right? Um, so we're just gonna head back here for a second. And one way we can do this, we put our bow back. Oh, just wait, it's gonna look even cooler. So, do, do, do. We're gonna do an impulse command here. So the cool thing is since this redstone is powering this block, it's also gonna power this block. Uh, sparks could do it. I could do explosion as well. Um, let's play around with a couple particles. 
So this one is gonna be, I'm just gonna try explosion for a second here like that. Uh, use the sparks for one take to signify. Yeah, I wanna try, I wanna try a couple out. So we'll do that and then we'll also do play sound. Explosion is cringe. <laughs> all right, all right, let's see it. Let's see it. Uh, let's see if I, maybe it is cringe. Let's see. Um, here we go. Oh, it didn't do anything. Uh, ah, always active. That's my mistake. Let's try again. Boop, boop. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, that's a doovy. That's a good idea. Um, I could play around with some of those particle effects there too. Let's um, yeah, I agree. With explosion is kind of funny. Let me let me at least get the uh, little infrastructure in place here. So we'll do a chain command now. And you guys know sound design super super important for me. So we are going to play a sound. We're going to play it at that location. We're gonna play. Ooh, what should we play? People in the chat, what's the sound that sounds like an alien chandelier exploding? I'll t I'm taking suggestions. Alien chandelier exploding. <laughs> and I'll, I'll queue up a couple too. Hmm. Wither dying. I like wither dying. I feel like I use wither dying too much. Ooh, a ravager. Ravager. Warden Sonic Boom, I can try that. Wither Breaking Block, I can try that. Let's try Ravager for a second. Uh huh. Ambient. Uh, okay, I guess I can't cheat. It's kind of gross sounding. Hold on a second. Let's turn up Ambient for a second. Always put your sounds, do not, or sorry, I should say, never put your sounds on master. Be polite to your, uh, well, that's gross. And then what if we did turn it up? Oh, it's like it's alive. <laughs> I always pitch things down to make them sound more evil. That one's cool. It does sound gunky. I'm I'm gonna that one is gonna be I'm putting a little a little check mark on that, but let's try some other ones. So wither breaking block. I kind of know what that one sounds like. Um, but let's play it. Wither break block. Ooh. Oh, it sounds like bones cracking. <laughs> oh. Oh, it sounds painful. Oh man. I think I know exactly what we're gonna do. You guys know what I'm gonna do? Can you guess what I'm gonna do? Yeah, clock got it. I'm gonna do both because I think that is gonna sound amazing together. Like out of this world, amazing. Um, okay, so yeah. Yep, I'm in. Do, 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 wither break block. Ravager hurt, tune down. Let's hear this gross sound. This better be gross. Better be drippy. Um, okay, and then we just wanna make sure that it happens at the right spot. Yes. Yep, do that. And, uh, oh, this should probably be like all players within a distance of, I don't know, say 20 blocks. We'll go with. Use the sparks. Okay, I'll do sparks. Spark. And we're gonna do like, 15 sparks. It sounds painful, I say with glee, says Snake. Yes, it does. <laughs> All right, this might work. Uh, I'm sure, I'm sure I, I definitely have everything working as expected there. Here we go. Oh, it's perfect. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's do it again. It's, it's like dripping this like interdimensional ooze. <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. Oh, that's so good. Let's do it again. Oh my gosh. 16 out of 10 gunkiness from clock. It's perfect. Okay. Okay. 
So this is our sound and effects phase. Uh, wait, hang on. I didn't see the sparks working. Did you guys see the sparks? Let me, uh, I was paying too attention, too much attention to the sound. Oh yeah. Hmm. The sparks, I don't know. They don't, they don't show enough for me. Um, hold on a second. Let me just tweak something here. Let's see. Maybe a different particle. Yeah, single sonic boom. Let's try that. Sonic boom. Ravager. Ravager. <laughs> okay, hang on a second. Hey there. Hey, Waterflow. Welcome back. Um, do do do. Ooh! That was 15. You're right. It was too much. Let's do one. Add screen shake. Yes. Okay, yes, we will also do screen shake. How did you get so many spaces there? <laughs> okay, uh, here we go, here we go. All right. Aha, very nice. Wait a second, hold on one second. Wait just one second, wait just one second. Okay, I just wanted to, wait a second. You don't think Dragon Breath would look better than that? No, that's drippy, that's good. Okay, all right, I think we're good. I think I think it's mostly there. I think, you know, there will always be things we want to do to it, but I think for the time being, yeah, that's pretty good. Um, I think I also, for some reason, the sonic boom is shooting a little low. So I'm gonna make this 26. Dragon breath is just purple dust, good to know. Um, TNT effect particle, I think we said explosions probably. Yeah, okay, I think I need to get it at the half step. I'm such a perfectionist when it comes to this stuff now. Um, let's see, do, 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 do. Yeah, I think we're gonna keep the TNT effect um, out for now. I don't know what's going on with that. I'll have to just play around with that sonic boom. All right, done. Now, now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make the platforms below it show up. Oh, Snake, welcome back. Hope you're doing all right. Um, let's see, so we'll get a repeater out. I have it set on one, one, one. Ah, it's not centered on the area. Right. Oh, that's Obsidian Tears. Um, maybe I can just do this. Let's just try one more time. That's better. Nice, thank you. I love how that looks. Oh, the stream's enlisted because it's secret. Should I list the stream? <laughs> I could. Make the, uh, what, you want to make the drips a little lower? The drips or the, the bomb? Hmm. Okay. Yeah, this is a secret. These are the private secret streams that people who know they know. <laughs> uh, the Sonic Boom, got it. Uh, da, 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 da. Sonic Boom. All right, so we'll make it negative twenty six point five. Let will try one more time. This, okay. Nice. Yeah, it looks good. A little less on the drips. I could agree with that. Let's cut it down by thirty percent. I think we're just about there. Nice, nice. Yes, yes, I think that looks really good. Uh, am I ever gonna do a Q&A? &A? Hey, I could do a Q&A. &A. What, what questions do you have? I'd be happy to answer the questions. Just let me know. Um, yeah, okay, so the next thing is we need a command that is going to fill this area here, if I give myself some light, we wanna fill like roughly, I don't know, from like here over to here, <laughs> water flow. Tell us your full address, social security number, your credit card info. Uh, okay, address one, social security number three, credit card info four. You're welcome. <laughs> uh. How, another question, how many updates am I gonna do before the map release? That's a very good question. Well, I wanna have nine quests. I have 
six done. So three more quests. And this isn't even technically, this one doesn't even technically count as a quest. So uh, yeah, the next real quest is going to be the Frozen Keep, which is a little bit of a ways away. My plans, my I have big plans basically, but it's gonna take the time that it gets. A secret quest, it's kind of like a mini quest, this whole thing. So so yeah, just something to, something to keep in mind. So let's quickly um, think about this fill command. So what I'm thinking, is we're gonna fill from like here. Yeah, I agree with you, Duvid. As long as it takes. It takes as long as it takes. Um, we're gonna fill from here to here. I can't really see, so sorry if you can't see right now. Right there. Yes, okay. Now, let's just do a little trial run. So we are going to take water flow. You should sleep. Um, we are going to fill with pearlescent frog lights. Pearlescent frog lights replace light level. Wait, I have it backwards. Not that light. Level zero, replace with pearlescent frog lights. No blocks were filled. Right, I have it backwards. <laughs> I had it right the first time. Well, it's good that we have that one. Let's stash that in our little, in our little command stash over here. Will I ever branch out of uh, command block Mac map making content? Um, I don't want to give too much away, um, but the answer is yes. And people are, I'm talking with people about things. Uh, how long do I think the stream is going to go for? My guess is, let's see what we've been going for about a little over an hour. I can't even, I, I've lost complete track of time. Um, but uh, I think we'll go for at least another uh, hour to two, my guess. Um, but yeah, no, command block content, uh, I will always be at the heart of this channel. So don't, don't worry about that. Ha! Um, <laughs> Water flow, maybe, I don't know. I would love to join, that That would be super fun, but I don't uh, I don't know yet. Um, you know, I don't even know, basically modded, I don't even know what season two is going to entail, um, but that would be super cool if I joined something like that. I think that would be really fun. Um, but anyways, okay, light, level zero. Okay, yes. I think that's fair based on where the drippings are and how many chandeliers we would have to place. Would I ever play competitive Minecraft? I mean, <laughs> do you do you want to see me play competitive Minecraft? <laughs> Cuz you know how how parkour uh, goes for me. It's uh it's kind of sad. <laughs> oh man, but that would be fun. Um yeah. Okay, welcome back Red Dust. So, okay. So, let's um let's do this. This is not how I want the final design to be, by the way. Uh, but let's do something like that. I'm not leaking secrets. I didn't leak it. I did not leak any secrets. No. Uh, okay. This is a. This is an example. This is not. I'm probably going to use um, a delay circuit. My my like. I don't know if I want to call it the avid delay circuit because that seems a little pretentious. It's not really anything fancy. Um, but if I do something like that, and then we do that deal. Yep. Okay. And then at the end, it goes like this. Bear with me. I promise. There's a method to my madness. We set block here to crying obsidian. Da doink. Everything turns off. Yes. Okay. And, uh, and you know what? We'll also do this at the end as well. Okay. So, don't add, funny bee, please don't add parkour to your map. You know I'm gonna die. It's not even, it's not even funny. It's not fair. <laughs> okay, so let's take a look. Ba-boom. And it should disappear in a second. There it goes. Now, uh, I want it to last a little longer, but that's, that's it. We, we have it. <laughs> so, I, I mean, it's, you know, there's always gonna be something a little extra to do, but. 
We can kind of see here, like, or maybe we have it stay up that long. Oh no, no, we definitely don't. Cause players can fall through. Ooh. Am I ever, so, okay, hang on a second. Uh, just catching up on some um, questions here. Um, let's see, I got, got it, branching out map playing content. Yeah, that's me branching out as I'm going to play maps uh, a little bit. Um, am I ever going to try modding Avid? Um, maybe, honestly, but I, I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't have a ton of time in life to, uh, <laughs> to be able to branch out and do stuff. I think, I, you know, right now, my, my focus is on just this very obscure uh, command block format. Um, and I, you know, but maybe, maybe someday. I won't, don't want to rule it out. Um, add some delay from when the lights appear. Okay. It's again, this is just a simulation. So keep in mind, uh, we're going to move this up to a command block room up above, and we're going to add a, a delay circuit to it. Um, that is a little bit more robust. Yes, okay. So they come up, and then you die. This seems unfair. Okay, now the question is, I guess they could stay on for a length of time. Yeah, I think we do that. As long as it stays on for a long enough time, players are gonna fall, players are gonna die, but they are going to respawn right here. So, uh, so I think this is, this is looking pretty promising right now. Um, so, I say it's time to make our command block room, which, uh, is just gonna be right up above. So we're gonna come up in here, and we're gonna get our chunks on for a second, because I, I have to make everything in chunks, otherwise I go crazy. And, uh, let's see, I would say we could probably fit it in, in these four chunks here. Probably plenty of room. Yeah. Okay. So... Let's see. Going to create it for a second. Break my way out. Give myself a torch. Do do do. <laughs> um, I could do a boss tutorial. Uh, I see. I see some some comments. Um, it really depends on what you consider to be a tutorial because I do have many videos. I would say the closest thing to a tutorial that I have is probably my evil AI boss. I do go into a decent amount of detail. Is that too low? It might be slightly too low, so let's just be careful. Just rem remember not to fill in at that torch. Go like one block above that torch. Um, my evil AI boss is kind of a tutorial, if you consider that. Um, but I will, I will always, as much as I can, try to teach what I'm doing. But there is a, there's a point where, hello, it's very scary in here. Uh, there's a point where people tend to tune out, um, and so there's a balance, of course, of creating content that you know people stick around and watch. Um, and then people, yeah, Av to Funny Beast's point, Avid Adventures is, it's a tutorial in a sense, um, because I, because I try to teach as much as I can. Um, but in another sense, I think a lot of people, you know, I do glaze over a lot of stuff. Um, and the reason for that is really just to keep people engaged, um, which is, is an unfortunate, but also kind of, you know, fun thing is about YouTube, I guess. I'm not sure if it's fun, but... You know, if people aren't sticking around for long periods of the video, your content doesn't get recommended, your channel doesn't really grow. Um, so it's a it's kind of a balance, right? Um, but yeah, Avid Adventures is is in my it is my best attempt at, at something in the middle. Um, yes, I like I like custom bosses. I I think they're they're really cool. It's just a matter of you know. How do you make it work with Minecraft mechanics? Um, and that's always challenging. Uh, so we're gonna do, so this is how I make my command block rooms always. I hope I didn't break anything with this. Wow, we just filled a hundred and, or no, filled 10,000 blocks, didn't break our tunnel, we're good. So I always do that first, and then I'll go back through with the same coordinates, and I'll just fill the whole darn thing with light, which causes me problems sometimes. And we do keep, and now the room is all lit up. And this is our command block room. So the next thing I'm gonna do, since we're probably gonna be bouncing back and forth, this will probably be the start block. What Avid, would you would you renaming an item on the server for a member be considered cheating? Well, says Waterflow. Um I don't know. I guess it depends. What renaming an item? Like would it would that kind of break the the game for them? Um I'm not sure. I always have a start and I always have a stop. 
we'll see if these functions are actually used. Um, let's see, I'm also taking a look. So Avid Mick Jr. could have more in-depth tutorials, that's true. Or these secret streams, honestly, we could just stream and talk and, and I can talk as much as you guys want about, and I can answer questions. It's probably a better format. Hmm. Um, so like renaming it, like adding color or bolding items. I don't think, it doesn't sound like cheating if you're just renaming an item, but maybe I'm not totally understanding um, the full extent of it. Uh, so what I also want to do is since we're hopping back and forth a lot, this is going to be a little, little thing I like to do sometimes between my command block rooms and the actual stage where they're set is we are going to teleport ourselves down here and we're going to do the same thing up there. Do -do put a button and then we're going to do something like this. Steal that, teleport nearest player to here, perfection. Now we have that, and then let's see. We're gonna go upstairs. And now this will help us hop back and forth between our rooms. Even though it's still pretty fast, it's not as fast as I would like. We're gonna do that. And then uh, let's see, where are we gonna go over here? We'll go like right here. Do do, like that. Okay, let's see. Sorry guys, I'm just focusing on these and I'll uh, take a quick look at chat in a second. So now, yep, we have our easy access to above and below. Um, so would I ever be interested in playing a Minecraft event? Is that like MCC? Because uh, that'd be super fun. Like I love, my, one of my favorite things is collaborating with other creators. Um, it's something that I really want to do a lot more of. And that's why uh, evenings with Avid are going to be a thing as I take a sip of tea. I did, I was in Legit Moose's, uh, Legit Moose's uh, 44 mini game event. That was fun. Um, yeah. Yeah, I really want to collaborate more, um, but it's also, you know, finding people who are kind of in my niche or, or a similar niche that, that you, you guys would be interested in watching as well. Um, but what event time for games? I need to, you need to tell me more about. <laughs> um, okay. So let's take some of these commands upstairs. And I'm wondering maybe the fastest way to do that. Uh oh. He's gonna do it. He's gonna do a clone. <laughs> Up to there. Take these upstairs. And I wonder if there really even is a start and stop um, for this one. Uh, did I clear the player's inventory of glowstone? Yes, I did. Because I know that somebody's gonna try to fill one of those respawn anchors and explode everything. So yes, yes I did. Um, question from Helonia Clips. Uh, will I let people onto the server after a while? Uh, it's, it's more, um, this server is kind of meant for my development. And so if there's a lot of people on here, uh, it tends to lag some of my stuff and it means I can't really make videos. So I'm a little careful with the people who are on and the time zones that they're in and things like that. Um, but I will release the map. So that's going to be the easiest way to play it. Um, yes. Okay. Goog. Yes, I did. Uh, I did delete all the glowstone. So let's, uh, let's drop that command off just somewhere here for now, just so we have it. And let's see. So this is our, this is mostly, this is mostly what I want. I'm trying to think if there's anything I'm missing and I don't, I don't think there is. If I want it to be super, super efficient, um, you know what we could do if we want it to be super efficient? Yeah. Okay. Um, like, I don't like having... Well, these are such efficient commands, though. I don't think we need to get too crazy with it. So what we will do is we're going to drop this here. Break into my house. No! Don't do that. <laughs> you don't know where I live, hopefully. Oh, the internet is such a crazy place, though. Um, <laughs> yeah, okay, so this is going to be Chandelier 1. We'll call it Drippy.
I live at one. Yes, that's right. I already said that. <laughs> at at the number one. Um, this stream is brought to you by the number one. So then this is going to do something like this. And we're going to put this into an... I, I don't know what to call it. Avid delay circuit. I guess I'm calling it that for now because I don't have a better name. Go something like this. Uh, wait. Brain. Yeah. That. Yes. Yes. And then a chest. I had some feedback on this. I think I could make it better. I'd love to hear what you all think about it. Um, this thing. <laughs> it's a very serious delay circuit. But it, it works. It does what I need. The problem is the mess that it makes. So I bet I could do it with a... I, I have ideas on how I could clean it up. The funny. Destroyer Clock, are you talking about this thing you call the funny? Because <laughs> I do think it is pretty funny. So yeah, for those of you who don't know, this is like a little simple delay circuit that's fully resettable. So I do F3I and I get the chest and then I do F3I and I get the hopper. Oh, but uh, you want stuff in the hopper. Don't forget that. So we'll do, I don't know how much delay. Let's give them 32 for now. Hey, Sidesons here, what's going on? Um, yeah, okay, so we got 32 blocks in there. We'll see if that's if that's enough. We'll do a replace command. Replace, 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 replace. Okay, so do I have any recommendations on making a map like this uh, from Helonia? Um, if you're kind of new to commands. Um, well, I mean, you could start looking at some of my basic command block basics videos. I think those will definitely... Those will definitely put you in the right direction. Um, but really, it's just about practice, as Waterflow is saying there. Definitely is just as much practice as you can. Um, start your map. Just start Just start doing it. Because at a certain point, you're going to learn things. You're going to get better. And and that's really the one way that, that you're going to make a better map, is you just practice. Um, yeah, tutorials, lots of people, programmer mindset, Waterflow is saying, yep, absolutely. Um, OK, I think. This is everything to get the chandelier to work. Um, the delay is going to be pretty long. So let's go take a quick look at this. This is why I always have these things. OK, um, I'm going to turn off this one. So that way we know that this isn't actually doing anything. And we'll clean up our mess in a second here. My gosh, this is such a mess. <laughs> OK, get a bow out, get this thing in. And uh, that, yes, OK. Looks good. Yes. Uh-huh. All right. And we probably could turn down the time on that. 32 blocks is looking a little long. Might be a little too easy. Yeah. OK, so we could tune that down maybe to like 18, something like that. But I think that's perfect. And it fully resets. So that's the best part about this now is we have this crazy hanging, drippy chandelier that uh, shows off the platform. And this is exactly what we were going for, guys. So I'm super excited. Now, we have to code this into a structure block. We'll, uh, we'll rotate it. Uh, see you, Waterflow. Have a good night. It's late for you, so thanks for stopping by. Yeah, and there it is. Platforms are in, and then at some point, this is going to disappear, and I think, yeah, I think we definitely are going to want to adjust that because this is staying on for a long time. Did it go? Did Is it stuck? It is stuck. Why would it be stuck? Let's see. Hmm. This command definitely fired. Oh. Well, the reason it didn't set the pearlescent lights back is because I didn't tell it to. <laughs> Generally, computers, they, uh, they do what you say. Um, and so when someone's like, I don't understand why it's not working. Well, you probably did something wrong. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so let's do that. And then uh, drop this here. And now that should, in theory, let's head back down. Do -do -do. Yes, okay. All of our lights are gone. Perfect, 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 perfect. Okay, um, I am gonna get just a little bit of water so guys, stick around right here, and I'm gonna get a little bit of water, and I'll be right back. Just give me one second.
Okay, I have got more water and I am ready to show off this thing that we just built one more time here. So let's drop in some of that and let's see, here we go. Okay, when I'm AFK, make the music louder. That is a great suggestion. There we go, ba-boom! And that should turn on now. And in a moment, I believe these platforms should switch back. Let's see, in a moment here, any second now. Come on. That's definitely way too long. I think we're gonna have to switch it down to like 18. Um, hey, Sky Knight. Actually, uh, <laughs> it's, it's all good. I, I had, so it was a secret stream. Um, and we're just having a lot of fun here. So I did, I did tick on to, uh, to, to, to bring it out to some more people, <laughs> but it's still secret. So don't tell anybody. Um, I actually don't see this setting back. So let's go take a quick look at that and see what's going on. I think I might have an idea. So it almost is like this never unpowered. Yeah, there it goes. What on earth? Okay. Let's double check that again. So we head down over here and if we get our bow back. Let's see. And we shoot that. Okay, it's looking good. Let's see. Sorry, just fixing my OBS settings there. Hang on a second. Okay. Huh. At some point, it should tick over. If I make it super short, we might be able to see it a little better. So let's quickly do that. Uh, let's see. See ya, Helonia. Um, yeah, look at that. Did it? It didn't reset on us. Well, that's weird. What on earth is going on? Uh, okay, one way that we can test this. There's a couple ways we can test this. Um, I can first. I'm gonna set this down to like five, so it'll be super short. Hey, thanks for stopping by. I like your video. Uh, Ayad Allah, thank you very much. I like I like your comments, so appreciate it. Um, today we are working on the uh, ephemeral platforms and we're gonna show, I'll show you something really cool in a second, but we're doing some debugging. So that block down there is causing us a little bit of headache. What's going on, Red Gamer? Um, we're gonna say execute. So let's go back down there now that it's five seconds and that way we just know that things are gonna go over quickly. See you, Duvid. Yeah, we got a lot more people in now. <laughs> it was a secret stream. It still technically is secret. Um, so this should explode. Yes, the platforms show up now. So what we're doing today is we are working on the ephemeral platforms. The way that they worked in my last video, kind of a little, uh, kind of a little boring. So what we're doing here is we came up with a chandelier that uh, when you blow up a a little piece of highlighted material, kind of like you know, the ore seeker, we're using the ore seeker arrow or the mining arrow here. Um, it's going to reveal the platforms and kind of create this dripping effect. But the problem we're running into is for, yeah, I have to play, make the sound play in a larger range. I will fix that. The problem we're running into is it's not resetting. And I don't really understand why, because this guy here is powered. So what would prevent that from running? Um, this was not in the video. No, this is all brand new. This is brand new. So this was actually a commenter uh, gave me a suggestion to uh, to basically, you know, do something a little different and use the mining arrows. And I believe it was Pie Guy. Um, and Pie Guy said, you know, hey, yeah, do do something kind of different. And I was like, that's a great idea. Now the question is, why is it not resetting, right? Because there it goes back now again. And I'm wondering. I it's hard to tell because now our command block room is just above. But what we can do is I can, from up here, I can destroy this block. So that's what I'm gonna do. I am going to set block there to air. I heard the sound. Wait a second. Did I miss something? Was this on the whole time? Something funky's happening. Oh! This should be destroy, not replace. That's the problem, peeps. That's the problem. I used the set block. I know I'm learning. Yeah, and now it makes a big mess, but I think that was it. Yep, that was it. So if we head back down now, take a quick look. So we have our chandelier of, of drippiness. 
Ba-boom. I'll make that uh, large range. Should be five ticks. There it goes. Perfect. We did it. All right. All right. So I will fix the sound effects on that to make it a larger range. Let's do that really quickly. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, funny bee. I know. I, uh, I I know how to use a set block command. I just choose not to sometimes. So let's see. Play sound wither break block, and we want to make it. We'll say everybody within a fifty block range. Um, and then I will also. I think the volume should be enough. Five should be good. Oh, that's five hundred. Uh, let's go back to fix that. Five fifty block range. Everybody within a 50 block range, and we'll turn it up. We'll make it loud. I don't know. I don't really know how these uh, these volume numbers work. <laughs> yes, thank you. Good correction. Um, so we now have everything working. Let's 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 play with the timing of this one, and then if we get the timing right on one of them, then uh, it should. I think it should be easy to get the other ones. So let's set this to be. I think 18 feels right. We'll see if that looks good. So let's head back down. We are in the ephemeral platforms for those who are just joining. And I am going to just try to blow this thing up. Some cool sounds. Platforms show up. Ah, 18 is way too. Oh, wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. That's, uh, hang on a second, hang on. Um, it, it was on five previously. Now it should be 18. Just how the timer works. It's, it's still, I'm, it's a work in progress, that timer. So I can get about this far. Three, four. I'd say that's pretty good for the first one, at least. What do you guys think on the timing of that? Um, Red Gamer, I see your comment here. So you should make it with the platforms a scene where you're forced to look at them. They will appear for five seconds. You can remember them. They will disappear. Is that to kind of train the player in, uh, you know, in how the platforms work? Because my thinking at least is, um, my thinking is players already know how the mining potion works or the, uh, the mining arrow. And so they're going to come in here. They're going to see that glowing thing. We're gonna have like a chest or something where they pick up this uh, this arrow and or and, and a bow, and uh, and hopefully they shoot this, and they see the magic happen there, and that gives them an idea of what's going on. Now, I there's one last thing I think I want to do, is I want there to be like a humming sound, you know, that like makes it seem like there's a magic effect happening. So, to do a humming sound, let's steal one of these play sound commands. And chat, while I while I do that, what do you think is a good humming sound? Could it be a B, maybe, on repeat? Let's uh let's let's play around with something. Uh end portal. End portal sound destroyer? Is that what you're uh what you're getting at here? Humming sound. B play sound. Let's see. Remember, this is going to be oh, a beacon is a cool one. Let's try beacon. Uh oh shoot. Block. Beacon, ambient, and then if I have it on repeat, let's see how let's see how weird things get, because I love putting sounds on repeat. It completely changes how they work. That sounds pretty good. Beacon sounds pretty good. Here, it's a little quiet. Let me turn it up. Um, let me make this always active, and we'll see how. You hear that? It's a nice humming, layering on top of itself. It's ambient, it's a little quiet. That might be enough though. Hang on, I'll turn it up. I can barely hear it. Hear that? Nether Basalt Delta's ambient. That ends up, um, I've used that before. You can hear it for a second there. I agree, it's a little quiet. It's a little subtle, which isn't a bad thing necessarily. It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's a little subtle. Maybe there's, um, maybe we can go a little crazier instead of ambient. What is this? Oh, it kind of turns it up a notch. Here, I'll get, I'll get that sound on a little higher just so y'all can hear it. You, Red gamer, you use this sound for your TARDIS. Oh, Nether Basalt Delta's ambient. All right, all right. If you've used it for your TARDIS, let's give it a shot. Uh, how do I get to it? Basalt Delta's additions? Well, that's gross sounding. I don't think it's additions. <laughs> that's nasty sounding. Ambient. 
A M B I E. Oh, oh, wait. Ambient basalt. Oh. Ambient dot nether basalt delta ambient. Really? That's the whole thing. Okay. I trust you. Delta doesn't seem to be a thing. Ambient. Hang on. N ambient dot nether. It's not. A, I don't think that's a thing. Don't trust me. <laughs> Hold on a second. I can't hear this one. Oh. I think I'm. I think I, my vote's for Beacon. It's gonna be Beacon, but I think it's. There's the sound. That's it. It's perfect. It sounds like an abducting alien spaceship. I love that sound. Yeah, you guys feel that? That's a really good sound. Let's do it again. <laughs> Imagine trusting strangers on the internet, says Shaken. Shaxon, yeah, it's true. Okay, sorry, 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 sorry. I'll, I'm gonna turn down ambient, but that's the sound. We have our sound, everybody. So, now all I gotta do is plug it in, right? Uh, so, where are we gonna plug it in is the question. I think where we're gonna plug it in is pitch that down, maybe? Oh, I love that idea. I love pitching things down. Um, we'll make it volume one, I guess, uh, three. I don't know what how the volumes really work. And then pitch it down half. Chobblesome, quite chobblesome. Oh, that's awesome! That's awesome! Yeah, that sounds super good. Okay. All right, um, so where are the sounds played? They're played at this location here. That sound is in my nightmares, and it will be in mine now, too, which is very exciting. I try to make things that, uh, that are spooky. <laughs> As we have spent the majority of the stream making dripping alien chandeliers that bleed when you shoot them Naturally, we are going to have to come up with some kind of spooky sound. It sounds like the wither spawning. Yeah. All right, let's try it. Oh I gotta get the distance. Hold on a second. Let me just make sure do, 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 uh, play for all within a distance of 50 and now we come down here Gosh, I keep losing my bow <laughs> <laughs> I just keep losing it. I can't I can't keep track of this thing. So you know what I'm gonna do? This is how I'm gonna help myself. There we go. I'll be fine now. And we'll take one of these. Let's see how this works. Here we go. Yes. Oh yeah. Oh, Ooh, it, it kind of stays, uh, it stays around for a while, which I can fix. I can fix. We can fix anything. You guys know, we can fix anything. Um, though, I'm thinking we could do stop sound. I think we're going to keep it. Maybe lower volume. Okay. I will try. I don't really know how this works. <laughs> we'll go from three to one. <laughs> we'll see how that looks. And uh, I can always turn down my ambient as well, but here we go. Yes. Oh yeah, that hum is really nice. Like you hear it right below and then it trails off. Yeah, that's great. It was a good, good call. Now it kind of sticks around for a little bit. You hear that, but I, I could always do the stop sound command. But uh, the problem with that is we're gonna have more chandeliers and there it's possible that two of them are making the sound at the same time And if you do stop sound, you're gonna stop all the sounds and so yeah, there's so many things that that could go wrong um, So, okay chandelier Chandelier is done. Uh, the volume is just a block radius. Is it? I didn't think so Because um, like I've set the volume to 300 before and it basically is the entire server uh, the whole server can hear it um, Yeah, oh, you know what? While we're here, I mean, might as well troll somebody on our server really quickly, right? I mean, I'll just save that and then, uh, let's see, uh, play sound, let's see. Because who do we have on right now? Oh yeah, Event Horizon's on. Let's go to Spectator for a second. See what they're up to. Oh, they're exploring a deep dark. Oh, this is perfect. Okay, let's spectate in their head and uh, let's quickly play a warden sound that'll really spook them. 
play sound. Uh, let's see. Entity warden. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Warden emerge. Great idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Warden emerge on the master. <laughs> let's start with the heartbeat. Yeah, we'll start with the heartbeat. <laughs> master. Uh, but I'll just say all players here right now at this spot and we'll make it a, I don't know, 20. Okay, ready? Let's see what happens. Oh, hello? Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He left! <laughs> what just happened? That can't be coincidence. Did we just do, okay. We spooked him. <laughs> well, that's the fun part of being the dungeon master. Is sometimes you gotta you gotta spook some people to to make it make it interesting. Okay, so we have our uh, dripping alien blood chandelier that hums. Beautiful, perfect. I love the sound. Let's code this up into a structure block and get some more of them. I cannot believe it. I wonder if he actually left, like because he was. He was, he heard the sound and he didn't want to die again. Uh, <laughs> it's so funny. Oh man. Um, do I want to let the, do I want to let the crying obsidian glowing purple, uh, says Red Gamer. Um, infinite free crying obsidian farm as well. Yes, it would take you a very long time. Um, though I, I tend to clear players inventories when they get into the boss. So probably won't be able to keep anything you get in this tunnel. Um, do I want to let the Crying Obsidian glowing purple? Yeah, I think this would be cool to glow purple, and I think Funny Bee had suggested that too. We're gonna we're gonna do that. We'll we'll assign the slime to the purple team um, at some point. But uh, let's get this thing coded into a structure block. What do you say? So uh, the most the easiest way is to probably first get the lowest most northwest block because then the structure block's a little bit easier to work with. So oh, we're gonna go down a little bit. I'll go down there probably and over one and we're going to switch this over to save mode uh oopsies save mode oh what am i doing uh we'll do corner mode i i made a tutorial on this i should know what i'm doing um and we'll do that corner does that seem right yes that seems good so we have it in corner mode so now the magic happens. Purple, lots of purples in the chat. Uh, yep. Okay. Now we are going to switch this over to save mode. We're going to call this uh, drippy, <laughs> drippy, drippy thing that drips. And uh, yep, that's that's what we're going to do. And then we got to call this drippy thing that drips. And we call this one drippy thing that drips. Purple. What? Wait. Do you? Uh, is, is you guys are just saying purple just to say purple? Um, purple. Okay, just getting lots of purples in the chat. <laughs> okay, uh, so let's see. Detect. There we go. Oh, we missed one block over there on the side, it looks like. And that's mainly because uh, there is a barrier block here. Um, so I think I'm going to manually adjust now. Uh, yep, that looks pretty good, though. So we'll get rid of the corner. Da doop. Goodbye. We're gonna get rid of this thing. Goodbye. And then we're gonna bump it over that way by one. And I believe, what direction is that? That is the north direction. Great. I forget what that really means, though. <laughs> uh, let's see, nine, seven, and one. So if I make this eight, seven, one, does that shift it? It shifted it. The wrong direction. So nine, six, uh, nine, negative one, negative two. Yes, okay. And now we need to just make it, we need to grow it in that direction by one. Uh, do I need to include entities? That's a good question. Um, I probably don't need to include entities, even though the slime is here. Uh, that slime is going to be uh, summoned in by a command block. So I think we have our drippy alien chandelier all done. Yes, that looks good. So let's save this as drippy thing that drips. We are going to save. 
Uh, that's the wrong save button. And drippy thing that drips is is looking good. So let's get in the next few ones. Um, question is, how are we doing this? Am I a uh, question from the uh, from the chat here from Jacob X9? Am I making a map? I am always making a map. <laughs> this map is from my adventure map series uh, called Avid Adventures, and uh, this is from my most recent episode. We created this tunnel that is an interdimensional portal between the overworld and a pocket dimension that is called the other side. And uh, today we are actually focusing on the end of the tunnel, which is called a section called the ephemeral platforms. And for those of you who are just joining and haven't seen, I'll show you really quickly. Thank gosh, I have all these bows, great. The ephemeral platforms work something like this. There's gonna be these drippy alien chandeliers and they are going to create, oh, they hum. That sounds so good. And then they create these platforms that are ephemeral, which means they disappear. Um, somebody in chat says, I watched all of Avid Adventures. Yay! I did too. <laughs> I love, yeah, I love that series. It's been so much fun for me um, to make. And, and I love that everybody here has, uh, has watched a lot of the episodes. It's been so much fun. Trog, I see you here. Hi, hello. <laughs> Avid side story number nine million. I think that's nine million coming soon. I get distracted. <laughs> I get very distracted. Okay, so what we are gonna do now is this little drippy alien chandelier that uh, that does this. We need to make this work for the entirety of the the ephemeral platform section. So. Uh, <laughs> so I guess I'm just gonna clone this guy. So let's uh, let's find some good spots for it. We'll grab this structure block, and I'm just trying to see if there's an easy way to kind of plant it somewhere that's gonna be useful for me. And I don't, I, I honestly don't think there is. Part of me wants to use the clone command, you guys, but I some of you had some problems with me using it. So we're gonna we're gonna make structure blocks work. Um, yeah, okay. So I'll switch this into load mode. And then, let's see. Let's light this up a little bit too. It's a little dark over here, just for a second. Doop. Um, yeah, so I want it to kind of be, actually, you know what? Let's mark out all the spots where these drippy alien chandeliers are gonna go. Um, they don't have to be, it doesn't have to be perfect, but let's kind of make sure that they're like at a good distance. So we'll do one there, one there. One there, is that too close? Nope, that's pretty good. Okay, then one here, then one here, and then one here. And what do we say we do one more? Perfect. Um, <laughs> Avid for basically modded season two. <laughs> hey, that would be super fun. Uh, who knows, you know, uh, you know, I'm. If you guys have seen, uh, Doctor Trog is is in the house right now, and uh, they put together a series called Basically Modded, and it is super cool. It's like, what if you took data packs that are just so unbelievably complex and combined them all together into a giant mod pack and then made a series around it? Uh, yeah, that's what Basically Modded is. That's the idea, is it's basically modded without actually being modded, and it's super cool. So yeah, definitely check it out. Um, but uh, let's see, so I wanna put the next one right here. Data pack, data pack, pack, says Funny B. Uh, Red Gamer, what is your idea? I'd love to hear your idea. And let me see if I can focus just enough to get this to go where I want it to go. So I think, let's try to make this, let's scoot it a little bit towards us, so now it's right there. Yes, and let's make sure that we rotate it at least, or let's mirror this one. We wanna put a little bit of variety on it. And then we'll go minus seven maybe, drip, oh, oopsies. <laughs> uh, let's not do that. Let's go back to seven. I think seven is perfectly, uh, perfect height. And let's scoot this over, I don't know, four. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, nearly there. And then let's scoot it towards us, maybe two blocks. And yeah, that's pretty much exactly where I want it. So it's mirrored, so hopefully it looks a little different. If it doesn't, we'll tweak it. And let's uh, let's see what happens. Drippy thing that drips looks pretty good. Is it mirrored? Yes, yes, nice. Okay, 
yeah, there's a, there's a bit of variety there. Mm. Getting a little water. <clears throat> what if I move armor stands in the middle of the tunnel that are having particles in front of them, like five blocks, then you rotate the head with scoreboards that in combination with the linear moving? Um, that's an idea. I, you know, I think with enough time, I could definitely get that to work. Um, right now, I'm trying to focus on this very basic concept, and then I think there are so many different ways that we can enhance uh, the the tunnel and the way that all these particles are formed. But okay, so that's two in. So let's try to get that one over there now. So I think, let's see, let's do this mirror and we'll rotate it 90 degrees. Let's make it a little funky. And now it's pushed over there. So if I go, what happens if I go, let's see, four, so two, so I wanna go this direction, 10. What happens, where's it go? Okay, hey, that was a pretty good guess. 10, let's make it like, uh, I don't know, 13. What's, is Trog starting rumors in the chat? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's good. Look at that. Perfect. Let's drop our next one in. And we will click load. Yep. And now we have another one. And this one has enough variety. I think it's like mirrored backwards. So that's perfect. Oh, this is starting to look cool, you guys. Not gonna lie. This is starting to look super cool. What do you think? What do you guys think of this tunnel? Trog, you're starting rumors. I can't believe this. <laughs> oh, yes. Don't listen to Trog, anybody. You never know. You never know what they're gonna say. <laughs> um, you should add skeletons. Uh, so uh, Ead says you should add skeletons with high knockback bows to make the tunnel harder. That would make it super hard. It'd make it super hard. Um, Red Gamer says, should you let one of them appear after you hit the one before? Um, I think it's okay. I think players are already gonna have enough trouble with, so so the way this tunnel is gonna work is you you shoot there. Well, the drippy, uh, uh, yeah, so hang on, let me just get this bow again. So players are gonna shoot one of these, like so. Tunnels show up. We move, we move, we move. They shoot the next one. We move, we move, we move. It's th these platforms will then appear. We move, we move. We shoot that one, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So that's that's basically how how it's going to work. Is you're moving and shooting, and it's going to be kind of this timed challenge. Is the idea. So um, yeah. So and uh, Shaxon says it already it already looks super cool. The drippy things that drip make it look better. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, uh, if anyone has a better name for these drippy things that drip, please let me know. Um, yes, you have to be fast. Do you guys think I can beat it? As many of you know, I'm very, very bad at parkour, but I say I'm good and it makes me feel better. <laughs> I like the drippy thing concept. Thank you, Trog. Uh, yeah, I can't take full credit for it. I had a commenter actually who gave me the idea and, uh, and I thought it was brilliant. I thought it was so cool. Um, parkour King is here, it's me. Um, all right, let's get the next, uh, what do we have left? Five in, and then from there, we're gonna code them up. We're gonna get all of the stuff shown up, and uh, and then hopefully uh, hopefully it all just kind of works, and then we'll play it, and we'll see, we'll see if we're good enough. So, I don't know, I'll drop the structure block here. We'll hit it with a little bit of light so y'all can see the stuff. And also, you can kind of see here, for those who don't know how these, uh, these platforms work, we have zero light level uh, blocks all over the place. And we replace those with pearlescent frog lights. And then when the timer runs out, we put them back. So it's pretty neat. And it goes all the way up and all the way down. And there's all these kind of little pathways that I made. Um, I think it's pretty cool. Um, you could spam the bow for other ones. Um, yeah, let's, uh, well, I say what we do is we play it and we see if it's, if it's too easy or too hard. And then we tweak it. I, I prefer to make things, um, I think, I, I prefer to make things uh, easier and then make them harder rather than the other way around because sometimes when you make things super hard, uh, only the really persistent people end up playing it. And uh, and then you, you end up alienating a lot of casual players. Um, so it, there's a balance, of course. Okay, so let's get this, let's get this one going. So let's see, we're gonna switch this into load mode. We'll go 270 degree rotation without any mirroring this time. We'll try to make things a little random. Switch this over to zero. That's almost perfect already. 
nearly, nearly perfect. Okay. And then we'll switch this over to positive four like we had before. And then I think we need to scoot it down one block now. Uh, six. Yep. Perfection. Um, fuzzy. Hello. Welcome to the stream. Uh, okay. Oh, did I just place it? Yes. I don't like placing these blocks. There should be, should, there should be a chase sequence in the tunnel. I have done that. Um, there could be, I think I definitely, I definitely am open to ideas on how to spice up the tunnel. Here's our next one. Ooh. And this one's tricky cause it's blocked a little bit. Okay. So let's do this one and then we'll bring it down. So relative position now we'll say is like 14 and oh, that was almost perfect. Ah, I need to do like 12. <laughs> okay. 12 on the relative position there. Very nice. And then we are going to, let's rotate it, uh, 180 degrees and mirror it. Yeah. Cause, cause that's going to randomize it. And now we need to push it a little more. So we'll push it, uh, not, nope, that's the wrong one. We'll push this by six. What is that? Okay. That goes the wrong direction. So we'll push this to zero. That is perfection. And then we are going to push this to 14 and it's going to look like more like 16 and that's good enough. Doesn't have to be too, we don't have to be exact with anything. You know, I mean, that's the best part about making builds like this is when you're, when you're placing a bunch of drippy chandeliers, actually I saw a corrupted chandelier. I like that idea. You're like corrupted chandeliers. When you place these down, they don't have to be perfect. You know, that's kind of the idea. Um, okay. We have three more to place. Will this structure block, this one here, allow us to do that? Now the maximum bounds are 48. So we might get lucky. Let's try to move this over to, I don't know, 28 and see if that gets us close. Uh, it's, yeah, we overshot it. Perfect. Let's go to 26. Yep. We can go 25 red industries. That's a very fancy account name. Welcome. 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 Um, the secret stream is no longer secret surprise face. Yes, I know it was found out. Uh, it's my fault. Um, okay. So let's, uh, let's do a little bit of a rotation. We'll do a mirror on this, rotate it 90 degrees, really, really mess it up. And then we'll make this minus four. Nope. Positive four. And that looks good. Yep. Yeah, that looks really good. Brick time. Hello. Welcome to the stream. We are making, uh, an interdimensional tunnel with these, uh, dripping alien chandeliers. Uh, for those who are just joining, we are, uh, we are basically making this, uh, section of the interdimensional tunnel called the ephemeral platforms. Ephemeral means it's, uh, it's not permanent. And so the concept here is let's take a look. We're going to players are going to head down this tunnel. They're going to shoot these things. The chandeliers actually reveal the pathway and they make this really cool humming sound. Oh, I love that. Oh, and then they disappear. They're ephemeral. <laughs> and so we're just filling out the rest of our chandeliers here. We have another two to place and then we should be good. Um, <laughs> Thank you for saying my channel is underrated. You know, I, I, uh, it's, it's funny cause I do get that comment a lot, which maybe means one day I will be rated. <laughs> underrated is such a funny word. Um, cause it, it almost implies there are ratings, but I, <laughs> but thank you. That is very, very, very kind of you. You know, I think one day, um, people will, will have a love for adventure map, map making, uh, as much as I do and, uh, and they'll come play. But I also do more than adventure map making. I also uh, have uh, every, I don't know, every week or so, I'm just gonna start doing this thing where I bring on other fellow creators. Um, and, uh, oh, and let's see, one more. I bring on fellow creators, like we had uh, Dr. Trog in the chat. And uh, Trog is the creator of Skyblock 4. And so we hung out last Thursday, that looks perfect. And, uh, and we just talked about Skyblock. We talked about, you know, their rise on YouTube and what brought them here. I think a lot of times, you know, especially people my size, um, they don't get a chance necessarily to uh, talk about themselves. And so um, I know Tr Trog does streams every Friday and so you guys should totally check them out. It's uh, Skyblock related. Uh, but uh, but yeah, I'm gonna try to do that more and more as, as I, uh, let's see. Yeah, okay, that needs to come back. Let's see, one, two, three, let's say four blocks and then we'll call it on that. It gets harder when they're further away because you have to, you have to fly all the way over just to see if it looks good. Okay. 
Make someone chase you. Uh, Fuzzy says, make someone chase you with an armor stand. Okay, I think we could do that. That could be kind of fun. Um, but, you know, we'll see. Uh, okay. Yes. And now we have just one more. These are looking good. I really like this section. In fact, I want to kind of remove these, uh, these bounds for a second. I really like this section. Oh, that is looking so good, you guys. Yeah. Yeah. You know, they're kind of like uvulas, you know, like in your mouth. <laughs> they look like, <laughs> look like uvulas. Um, there was, yeah. Uh, so for those who haven't seen the first section of this, let's go, let's go really quick. Here I go, ADHD, avid ADHD. Um, check this out. Check this out. Red Industries says, working with commands is just so good for creativity and logical thinking, but somehow when people look at, uh, how, uh, when look how to code uh, something, they are not that interested. Uh, but I love your commands and that's why I watch. Thank you so much. Um, you know, my hope with doing just command blocks instead of data packs is maybe it's a little more palatable for people where we just, you know, each command block holds one commands. They do simple things and, and maybe that's enough. But thank you so much for, for those kind words. That really means a lot to me. So the beginning of this tunnel is, is a hard section. So let's take a quick look at that. For those who have seen my uh, previous video, uh, then you this, this is gonna be redundant information, but this is interdimensional hole in the wall. We made it in episode 11 of Avid Adventures. It's hard to keep track now. And uh, yeah, this is, this is uh this is what this is what I made last episode. It's tricky because I'm probably gonna die by the way. I'm not I'm not good at my own maps. <laughs> that's I, I just do I, I like making them. Um but yeah, this this is the section that's pretty hard. Oh! Oh that was close. We got bounced. We got belly bounced. Um I've also heard a couple people mention some of these uh walls have are shaped in certain ways. And I want I wanna let you know you gotta get your heads out of the Gutter people! <laughs> um, question from Fuzzy is, how long is this stream gonna last? Oh, I am in a very different place. Oh, <laughs> we gotta get back. Um, how long is this stream gonna last? This stream is going to last probably until I finish, oh gosh, get into creative mode, uh, until we finish this little tunnel here. So my guess is we might have an hour to 45 minutes left. Um, a fair bit, yeah, funny bee, yeah, fair bit. I would say. So you guys have time, just hang out. You know, if, if I'm in the background of your, whatever you're working on, I totally don't mind that at all. Just uh, just enjoy and relax. And um, yeah, if you guys like the music, you want any changes to the music, um, let me know. Uh, Orboros uh, 5, I want to play Orboros 5. Um, so at, I would like to finish this tunnel. Um, if if I still have the energy, then I totally will play. Um, yes, that's that was part of my stream description. Um, is I is I would like to play Orbros 5, which is a map made by a community member um, by Withermax YT. Um, so I would like to check that out. Let's see. So what was that last command? It was at 33. We're kind of pushing the limits here of structure box. Let's try to go to 39 and see if that gets underneath where we want to go. Okay, we got to go another one, two, okay, three. So we'll go to wow, 39, 42. That's the that's the uh, no 48 is the maximum size. Let's flip it. We won't spin it. And uh, let's see, four, we set this to zero. And are we right underneath? Uh, yes. Time for games. Uh, didn't you stream uh, Orboros today? I, I thought you said you were gonna do that. Um, let's see, yes. All right, that's all of them. So now is the fun part of, uh, of coding. Oh boy, of coding them all. Oh, that's okay. Uh, I I was trying to think of a way that wasn't too hard coded, and I think maybe there's a way we can do it. Um, but the first thing that we need to do is uh, okay. Cool. Good. Good to know. Um, that, uh, so let's see. So I'm gonna steal some of these block locations because that's kind of important here. And let's just do a little check here. Now. One thing, so a lot of these commands are super hard coded and that's gonna make it very tedious for us to now clone this. I don't know how many chandeliers, uvula chandeliers there were, like seven, seven or something like that. Um, and so we wanna make our commands a little bit more agnostic to the locations that they are uh, 
the, like the hard coded coordinates basically. So this one here, this coordinate indicates where the particles should be summoned in. I think that's okay. We could do markers. Yep, spawn marker when the arrow breaks with crying obsidian, then a timer with the fill commands. Yep, that's definitely one way we can do it. So let's actually, let's do the, let's take care of the particles first. I'm just trying to think. We might be, we might be okay with some of these, these coordinates because replacing out one command is totally not that big of a deal. Um, so that's all of these here. Oh, I broke one. Oh no. <laughs> F. It's okay. I remember what it was. Uh, this was wither break block and this one was chat. Remind me now. I already forgot. Um, what was it? It was, it was the breaking bones sound was wither break block. It was, it was ravager. It was ravager entity. Ravager, isn't it the worst when you just break a command block that you spent like, who even knows how long uh, making, yeah. Ravager death, that's the one. All right, so I could get, I could get super lazy. Let's talk, let's talk the super laziest thing that we could do. Um, we are going to clone this and we're gonna clone up to here like so. And then we're just gonna drop it right here. Boom, All right? Now we could get super lazy and basically just have one of these rows for every single chandelier. And yeah, that could work. And I'm just kind of thinking out loud here, but we're gonna have to come in here for every single chandelier and we're gonna have to change out these coordinates. Now, uh, Lucas had an idea where you could, every time we break one of the crying obsidian blocks, you put a marker down. And then that marker is what's responsible for dripping things and making sounds. Um, it's it's pretty, that's pretty good. Um, I'm trying to think of how much time that actually saves us versus the extra commands that are needed. So like, let me, let's just simulate one of these. Let's just see how painful this is gonna be. And if, if it's painful, it's then maybe we, we, we get smart about it. So we set block here. All I wanna do is I just actually really, I just wanna steal that block. Okay, and we're gonna head back back up to the command room. And this is, yeah, this is the fun part. So this checks to see if the block was destroyed. This is drippy two. Drippy two. Yeah, thanks Trog, I think so too. You know, sometimes it's funny. Um, I'm a software engineer. Um, and so sometimes, you know, there's the joke that you spent two days automating something that takes you five minutes. And that tends to, uh, then you realize, hey, maybe I should have just done the, the lazy thing because it would have taken me half as much time. This is the command that's gonna be the, the one that's tricky. So this command here, cool, uh, time for games. I love that you're just putting me on in the background. Honestly, anyone here who's just hanging out, like that's, if you just like listening to the stream, I love that. Thanks for being here, thanks for hanging out. That's just, that's what, what I'm here for, you know, it's just to hang out. Uh, question on the shaders that I use. Um, I'm actually, I don't have, well, so I use a resource pack, um, that impulse SV, uh, turned me on to, and it is called new lighting and it's apparently not compatible, but I use it and without it, well, check this out. Watch this room. Cause Minecraft has this weird shading where it like infers where shadows should be. Do you see how gross this room is now? Ugh. Like, I don't know, it's too dark. Everything is just so dark. So um, Impulse was doing a stream and I saw this new lighting and I was like, yeah, that's awesome. That is, uh, yeah, I'm in. So then with the new lighting on, cool Trog, yeah, thanks for just hanging out. I agree, it looks ugly. Now it's nice, it's just brighter. Everything is nice and pretty. Um, yeah, yeah, so so that's just something that I, I think is, is a, is a major improvement. Um, okay, so the next command here, so we've done a good job in playing sounds, we've done a good job in creating our particle effects, but we now need to replace the platforms down below with the frog lights. And for that, 
I think we're gonna have to do a quick experiment. Okay, so why is this not glowing? Did this not get reset properly? It still works. Okay, but that's weird. We'll have to check that. So the next platform here is going to have to be, yeah, so this is where it ends. Okay, let's do that again. Oh, there, it reset now. Okay, take this, grab this one. And, uh, and then for those who don't know, we have barrier blocks all over the place here. So this is why I can't fly. It's such, it's, it's too much. It's too much. So we have a lot, we're using a lot of invisible blocks in this build to, to make things work. So barrier is one of them. And then the light is the other one. And so we just copy the block over here. Oh boy, but we actually wanna go a little higher. So what I'm gonna do is I'm probably gonna grab this very, very hard to see block. It's a barrier. And let's see, this chandelier should probably light up to about down here, we'll say. And let's take a look at how this looks up above. So that's our new fill command, is this region. Let's head on over to our teleport button, which you know what? I have a feeling, Let's. it's always about making our lives a little bit easier when we're making these kind of builds. So move our teleport button a little closer to where we're gonna be going back and forth. Okay, so now this next one is, this is the command that replaces those blocks. So if I just drop in what I just saved, cool, boom. Now this is our little timing circuit that uh, I I have come up with and it makes a giant mess. If you guys can make improvements on this, let me know. It's, it's just really easy to assemble this thing. Um, but all it does is it has a hopper with a certain number of blocks in it and it drains into the chest. When the hopper is empty, it then extends out. Um, so yeah, that's, that's just kind of how that, that works. And it's fully resettable too, which is really cool. So instead of using repeaters, it's just a lot easier to work with, um, especially when you have something going on. Scoreboards, yeah, I know, but they're harder to see and I like things that I can see. <laughs> and I also like doing things kind of weird. Um, so let's do this part. All right, and now we need to just do one last tweak and I think we should have it. This is gonna be pretty cool. Hope you guys are ready to see the second section pop in here. Uh, NRW asks, what are you doing today? NRW, I'm a, just wait, check this out. So we are creating if uh, the last section of my interdimensional tunnel called the ephemeral platforms. And uh, hey, Zo, hi, good to see you. And uh, I'll show you in one second what, what um, uh, to get back to NRW's question, I'll show you exactly one second what we're doing. I have two commands here. Um, I have a command that takes all of the light and replaces it with frog lights. And then I have a command up here that takes all of the light and replaces it with frog light. These seem redundant. Unless I'm, I don't think these are necessary. I'm gonna switch them off for now. Um, and then if they actually do something, then we can, we can work with that. Um, but let's see. Okay, run those commands. So now we should have two down there. Okay, all right, let's go down there. I'm sure I'm sure it won't work. Zoe, apologies, apologies. Um, I will never forget that now though. <laughs> uh, Funny B says, my boss is literally impossible without scoreboards. Most things are, most things are. Okay, so let's take a quick look at this. All right, there's one. Let's run, 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 run. Humming sound, I love that. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, if I didn't fall there, we would have this section now. Perfect, this looks really good. It looks super good. Yes. Um, okay, we have a question. Uh, when is the next Avid Adventures? Well, episode 12 is going to open up with me uh, explaining what we did on this stream today, which is these ephemeral platforms. <laughs> Zoe, you got my name wrong too. Uh, Acid versus Avid. Duvid, welcome back. Um, episode 12 is gonna come out, my guess is Oh, if I'm, if I'm super, super motivated to get it all done, it could be this Friday, but I have enormous plans for episode 12. Um, it is the boss fight. It is the boss fight that was promised. So I think it's probably going to be not this Friday, but the Friday after that. Okay, and also, what do you guys think of this? Oh gosh, you gotta be fast though. Oh, I don't like that there's a delay. Um, this is, there's, a, there's an intended delay. 
Um, hang on a second. I don't like that there's a delay. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, yeah, I, I'm, what is this? This is the, yeah, this is the humming sound. Okay, hang on a second, everybody. I just wanna, I just wanna improve this. Cause I think the delay, honestly, um, slightly detracts from the experience. So what we're gonna do is the humming sound is gonna come in right about here. Then this is gonna happen right away. Oopsies. Yes. And then, yep. Just, in, just improving our patterns. <gasps> I broke a thing that I didn't wanna break, but that's okay. Uh-huh. Wait, that was a sound effect? No, pearlescent frog light replace, yeah. <laughs> uh, mini quest. You ex acid adventures. You explore an acidic wasteland, trying to find the next avid adventures video. Uh, um, it's an idea. <laughs> I'll give you that. It's an idea. Um, okay, so let's see. Uh, this is going to be. Yeah, I totally goofed and deleted a block that I didn't want to, but that's okay. Here, we're gonna steal this. We're gonna go here. We're gonna go replace. For everyone stopping by, thank you so much for being here today, by the way. Oh, player of Minecraft is here. Secret stream that's no longer secret. I didn't, I, I tried, but then, but then we were having so much fun and I wanted to, I wanted to share. Um, yes. Okay, so what are we doing today? We are fixing and finishing the ephemeral platforms. Um, all right, let's try them out right now. I don't know what I just did, guys. Honestly, my brain just took over there. I have no idea if any of this is gonna work. And in fact, I see one of the platforms has not, I think that's probably a, hang on a second, I'll fix this. Do -do. And we'll rerun this command. I'm gonna have to make sure, I'm seeing some issues with resetting of this little section. Okay, we have two chandeliers. We, uh, these little evil chandeliers. Um, uh, Shaxon says, you're super smart and hardworking and stuff on Avid Adventure Maps. Almost as smart as me who mashed my keyboard to make my username look foreign. <laughs> you know what's funny though is so many names are taken at this point, you might as well mash your keyboard and chances are you'll still stumble upon a name that, uh, that, that is taken. So I totally feel ya. Yes, guys, this is feeling really good. Are you guys feeling this right now? You run down this way and then Oh, where's the next one gonna be? Is it that one or this one? Oh, that's gonna be tough. Yeah, you're gonna have to shoot it while you're coming down. Yeah, that's tough. Okay, I really like that though. Okay, this one is still humming. I love that sound, by the way, if you guys can hear that. Here, I'll turn it up just for a second. That is such a cool sound. Um, the corrupted chandeliers, all right. I think we'll call these the corrupted chandeliers. Um, yeah, that's a good name. All right, so for some reason, this didn't fire. <laughs> Why? Uh, let's see, that turns them back, which apparently didn't didn't do anything. Um, ASMR beacon sounds. Everybody listen to my voice as we talk through today's episode. <laughs> oh, I, player of Minecraft, I am surprised that you got your name. That is very impressive. Um, I'm a little confused. So one of these is resetting properly and the other is not resetting properly. And the reason that would be is that the block that this is looking for, 360, 27, 625, is not getting set back to crying obsidian. So let's take a quick look at that. Why? 625, yes. <gasps> Wait a second. I know why. I know why. <laughs> we did a clone command and we goofed up my timer. For those who say use scoreboards, you're probably right, but I'm so stubborn. So uh, I do F3I and that gets you the the chest right here. It basically copies the, the command to create that exact chest with all of the contents. This is like one of the most uh, underrated commands out there. Um, use the item replace command to reset my timer without creating a mess. Ooh, okay, so Okay, let's let's do it. Let's do it. I like that idea from uh, from Chase. Okay, um, let's see. So if I were to do item replace block this one, 
chest. Oh God, I have never used this command. It, nothing with, how do you do this <laughs> with? <laughs> what is all this? Air can't be a thing. It's void, nothing. Or is it, uh... oh wait, armor.chest also is obviously not a chest. That is very silly. Container slot. I see, I see, I see. Okay, just yeah, send me a video link and I'll and I will watch it. I'm such a I'm so silly. I saw a chest and I was like, yeah, that's gotta be it. Send me a link, I will watch it after the stream because I want to improve this design. The my favorite part about this design is you just do F3I and that creates the command, but it does make a mess. And you guys have seen that I think in my uh in a lot of my videos, is you see that mess. That uh, that comes of this, because uh, yeah, it sprays all of its contents everywhere. Um, let's see. Wait, slots is for entities. Uh, container is for blocks. Yeah, that would make some sense. So I think now this should be working. Let's just take a quick test. And if it is, then we should be able to code up the other ones. And uh, yeah, I, I don't think it should take us too long. And then we'll play through. We'll see if it's hard. We'll balance it. We'll give it a shot. So here we go. One. Go quickly. Oh, MLG. And then it would be this one next. Cool. All right, I guess we're just gonna have to see how the other ones play out. So uh, let's rinse and repeat. Grab this block. Do do. Are you gonna reset, bud? Oh no. You're still like this. You're still broken. Maybe because it takes a cycle to fix itself. Let's see. Still empty. Ah, oh, right. I yes, I understand what I did wrong. Give me one second. I'm just gonna copy and paste this in here for now. Drippy thing that drips. It is a drippy thing that drips. Um, for now, we'll give it another 18. We'll do 16 on this one. Oh, it's draining. Um, that's okay. We'll wait for this to go. Okay, that should reset. This is gonna go down. This explodes. 18 blocks in this. We take 16, we drop it in here, F3I. We then put that into here. Sus drip. I've been getting a lot of comments about the fact that my interdimensional uh, wall, slime walls look kind of sus. I, it, You know, maybe they do. Maybe we're gonna have to make one that looks like an Among Us little guy. Um, okay, so let's make drippy three. Drippy three. Okay, we're gonna clone again. Drip step. <laughs> Zoe says, don't get me started. Don't get you started on, on oh yeah. Let's not talk about the, some comments I've received on, on some of the shapes <laughs> of, the, of the walls of doom, the slime walls of doom. Okay, so in Java edition, do command blocks not get to specify how many ticks they take before running. No, they do not. And it is uh, it is very unfortunate. Um, I can get rid of these. It's it's a bummer um, because then you have to, then you're stuck with all of these weird things that cause delay, delay circuits in general. I have a whole video on clocks um, that is, has not done very well. It's like, I think it's my worst video of all time. So you know what? Let's change that chat. My clocks video, it's a gold mine. We rank every clock that I can think of. Why wouldn't people want to watch that? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Don't, don't, don't watch things that aren't, that don't interest you. Uh, Doobie watched it and I saw a comment from Doobie and I was like, nobody comments on this video. I like, I'm super honored right now. <laughs> Thank you. I think I thought it was interesting when I made it, and then the universe was like, mm -mm, "This is not. People do not want to see this. Hide this. Clock videos cursed." I I got. I tell you, maybe now that we're talking about it, it's gonna change. But uh, okay, we'll we'll figure out the fill command for that. Um, see you. Time for games. Have fun. Oh, Chase, that's where you sent it? That's so funny because I've kept your comment in the back of my mind about that and I've never actually, I've never, I should have, I should have just listened to you then because uh, I would, I would have fixed my patterns. 
Um, I'm very I'm very pattern oriented. You guys know I'm a software engineer, so like I come up with a pattern and then I just use it. I just use it as much as I I, I possibly can because I trust it. And the second that I don't trust something, I just like I get so uneasy. I can't I can't do it. Yeah, Zoe, algorithm deemed it unworthy. <laughs> Clocks. Who would have thought? Um, random clip channels are bringing Avid up? Tell me. What does that mean, player of Minecraft? Um, okay, we need to get the fill command, and we also need to, really quickly, not forget. This is starting to feel tedious. I'm, I'm wishing that I had uh, <laughs> come up with a more, uh, uh, I guess, templated version of this, but here we are now. It is what it is. So, okay. All right, so those are done. Now let's go figure out the fill, what the fill command's gonna look like. <sighs> oh, NRW, thank you so much. I really, that genuinely means a lot. Um, that's, that's my hope, is that I can help inspire people. So thank you, thank you so much. Um, all right, so, oh shoot, I need light in my hand in order to understand where the dang platforms are. Okay, all right. Pop, there's a slime here. Dang it, slime! You're in my way! Can I get the corner? No, really? Ah, I got it, okay. Um, so let's see, what needs to be filled? Wow, that goes way down there. Um, okay, we'll probably fill from like here. It's all guess. Most of the time though, never has to be perfect. You know, you work on something, you get an idea of how it should work, you refine a little bit, and then you just, you just get feedback, you keep going. I mean, that's really all it is. So we're gonna fill from there to, wow. I'm like, hang on, I'm gonna do it one more time. This dang slime is in the way. <laughs> These darn mechanics. Okay, there we go. Uh, okay, so yeah, we're gonna fill from down here to somewhere on the far side of the third chandelier. And that is gonna then have our, okay, so the third chandelier is here. So we'll say it fills to this point. And there's nothing higher than it. Nope, we're good. All right, here we go. Let's test out the third one. I'm starting to get so far away from my teleporter that I think I'm just gonna do this. <laughs> For anyone who's guessing where the, uh, the command block room is, it's right here. Oh God, it's filled with light. I can't see a thing. Um, Okay, a couple more comments here. It looks so odd when I hold the light. Yes, exactly. <clears throat> um, yeah, Lucas says, uh, the funniest thing is that more templated method would probably have taken 10 times the fewer command blocks to do and more lag friendly. You forget, I, I don't do optimization sometimes and I just like to place command blocks and see what works, but I probably will end up uh, uh, optimizing this at some point. Um, Avid, uh, player Minecraft says, Avid explaining how to make AI art. I have no idea how to make AI art. I, I work with people who, who like to work with AI. I am, uh, I, I am not that kind of software engineer, but that would be super cool. I'm just, uh, I, haven't, I haven't dipped my toes into that yet. Maybe I will one day. Uh, let's see, we also said, uh, NRW says it looks super weird when you hold the light. Yeah, it does. Like, that's what's really cool about this light block is it when you're holding it, it shows you other light blocks, kind of like the barrier. Um, Shaxon says, uh, what do you plan on putting beyond the gateway? That's in the next episode, and it's gonna be the boss fight. And uh, and, I, and I don't wanna give too much away, but it's gonna be really cool. I have a big plan for it. Um, Chase says, Avid, because of your Avid Adventure series, I'm making Minecraft Story Mode Episode 7 inspired map with the evil AI. I love that. I absolutely love that. That makes me so happy. Um, that's why I'm making this stuff. You know, is I, for the longest time, I thought I was very uh, alone in making bosses and using command blocks. And I mean, I, I saw tutorials out there, but I just didn't know if there were people out there like me. And now to know that there are and that you really enjoy the content, that just, that means the world to me. So thank you. Um, okay, so let's see, is this gonna be fast? Tower defense boss fight. Yes. Ah, what happened? Hello? Okay, I must have a space in my command or something. Let's take a quick look. Let's see. T 
Teal says, I haven't been watching you uh, for too long, but you're already my favorite YouTuber. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're awesome. Thank you. That really means a lot. It's, I, I don't even know what to say. Uh, I just love, I just love making content. And so I'm going to keep doing it. I'm definitely going to keep doing it. Um, I'm a little confused. Hold on a second. I think the platforms appeared when the first crying obsidian was broken. I think you're right. That must mean three, four, nine, two, seven, minus 65. Aha, yes, you're right. Good eye, Duvid. You saved me a ton of time <laughs> just now. Yep, my guess is um, the platforms are probably showing up right now. Yes, okay, very good. Uh, Player Minecraft, thank you. Yeah, if you if you feel free to give the stream a like if you guys are liking this content. Um, I will try to do more secret streams. How are they secret if you're telling everybody about them? Well, I guess I don't really know. <laughs> They're secret to me because I didn't know I was going to be doing this today. But here we are. Okay. Whew. Um, creating a, uh, Lucas says creating a map is as easy as collecting eight paper and getting a compass. You think so? Oh, wait a second. I totally, that just, oh, that's a facepalm moment. Okay. <laughs> oh boy. Um, yeah, it is exactly that easy. Uh, let's see. Okay, so we have four. How many, let's just template them all out real quick. How many do we have? One, two, three are done. We have one, two, three, four, five. So we have eight in total, eight in total. Ah, I can do this. So, in order to do eight, we have four already. Let's just keep going. Five, six, seven, eight. And of course, we have to swap the signs out. Did I miss a, oh, I missed a command in all of them too. Okay, that's fine, I can fix that. Do, do, do. Um, let's see, okay. Uh, here's a good question. Will there be mini boss or secret bosses? Um, yes, all of the above. Um, this quest is technically not even a full fledged quest. It's kind of a, it's a, it's, it's a side quest um, that where you return to Ebonglade um, and you kind of hear the rest of the story. You know, it's like, because the first time players go through e uh, Ebonglade um, and a player in Minecraft can tell you this, um, it's, it's really surface level. You get a lot of, you get a lot of lore, but you don't really understand what happened to Nodak, which you know he's the he's kind of the protagonist or antagonist depends on how you see it. But Nodak is the reason that Ebonglade is the way it is, um, is destroyed because Nodak's greed. Um, let's see, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, and then we're gonna do a lot of copying and pasting. Drippy seven and drippy eight. And then we'll get some glow squid ink. Do, 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 Player Minecraft, you found a use for the feet, eyes, execute subcommand. Tell me everything because I have no idea what to do with that thing. Um, also, use world edit. Lucas says he refuses. I refuse any tools. I think this is the hardcore version of Minecraft data packs. <laughs> and, and I think it's kind of fun. Uh, world edit, I could see using at some point, but not, not for this map. Uh, because, you know, you start to use world edit and, you, you know, the possibilities become so endless that you now have to terraform everything. Talk to Waterflow. Look at how much time they spend on their map uh, doing world edit. Um, I do try to keep things vanilla. I think there is a bit of uh, charm to that. And so that's that's something that I really like with this, with this series. Um... Duvid says, give the player more mining arrows. Um, yes, I think that's a great idea. Or maybe the mining arrows will fall down uh, from the chandeliers after the players break one. Think about that. Um, you have some questions on if I can make tutorials on adventure maps. That's kind of what my series is, is tutorials on adventure maps. Um, so so yeah, the, you're here. <laughs> this is, this is uh, we could go super in detail, but it would be days and days and days. So I think it's more just, I'm hoping that I can teach by, by showing, because that's how I learn. Um, okay, so we have a set block here. I'm gonna steal this. And we're gonna head on back up to our command block room, and we're gonna work on drippy number four. 
So drippy number four here. It's gonna look something like this. And we're gonna do sonic boom there. This could have been much more efficient, I am now realizing. But then the stream would be spent with me pondering. And it depends on how much that interests you. <laughs> so I've found, I've found this way, but I probably will come back here off camera and, uh, and totally work with this. I'll probably use an armor stand or something. But for now, this gets the point across and we're gonna take a look. You know, that's, that's what you know, we're doing here today is we're gonna make the ephemeral platforms. We're gonna play them. We're gonna see if they feel balanced and then we'll optimize after. You know, have you guys ever heard the phrase, uh, pre uh, premature optimization is the root of all evils. <laughs> so sometimes what that means is we spend so much time trying to optimize things that we don't actually get anything done. And other times it's, for me at least, I need to get a little bit done in order to understand where to go next. This slime is in the way. <laughs> That's such a cool sound. Okay, let's hold on to a light. Okay, we don't go any higher, so I will fill from here. And then where is this next one gonna go? Okay, so here's our chandelier. It's gonna go to about here, we'll say. Yes. Oh, hang on. Avid says Dippy 8. It says Dippy, not Drippy. Oh no, how could we? I can't see anything. Help, I'm in a sea of light. It says Dippy, it, sa it does say Dippy. Well, of course I'm gonna have to fix that. <laughs> I'll fix it. Just let me, just let me do this first and I'll fix it. I'll fix it. Okay. So, um, let's get this one in. Yes, Dippy. All right, we have lots of votes for Dippy. Dippy the eight, Dippy the eight, guys. I'm sorry. It's player Minecraft. It's Dippy. It's got to be Dippy now. <laughs> it's the way. It's the way of things. All right. Let's see. Eighteen. So this, these numbers here are uh, how we can control how long the platforms are going to be active for. And right now I'm gonna set them all to 18, but I think uh, this is how we're gonna balance things. So if things seem seem too short or too long, that's why I really like this method of making timers um, instead of just using a bunch of repeaters, which is such a pain. Uh, or if you're on bedrock and your life is good, uh, then you can uh, you can just use the the command feature where you can say run this command after a certain amount of time. That is that is amazing. Why don't we have this in Java? I would love to know. Um, good news is I can actually speed that piece up too. Okay, that's number four done. Let's take a quick look at number four, make sure it looks good. Lots of votes for Dippy, Dippy Easter egg. Um, Sky Knight says, you were questioning my Wither Star clearing a couple days ago. I use a command block to clear blocks in front of me when I hold a nether star. Oh, that's a cool idea. So yeah, when you have a specific item in your hand, it's a good way to bore a tunnel like this. That's, that's very smart. I like that idea. Um, I have a lot of respect for Bedrock. Just saying, um, like I know a lot of people, they go, oh, Java, Bedrock, which one's better? Honestly, uh, I think they're both very good games and they both have advantages. Um, and I, I try to cater to both audi audiences because whether Java players want it or not, there are more Bedrock players than Java players. So, you know, it's there's more people out there who play. <gasps> it didn't work. I know why. <laughs> um, Scoreboards do allow for variable duration of delay. Yes, they do. Um, and I think the one the one reason I kind of steer away from scoreboards is that it wouldn't be the most exciting content. And I know that's weird to say, like that I want to kind of hamper my own builds based on what people want to see. But, um, oh, that's really cool. This section's tough. <gasps> I really like that section. Let's take a, oh, the slime died. Oh no. How did he die? That's weird. Um, yeah, scoreboards are cool, but they're kind of invisible. And so I like to show redstone working. Okay, so there's that one. This is such a pain. Yes, there's that one. Oh, wow. Did I miss a section or something? What? Did you guys see something kill this guy? 
kill this guy. Ah, right. Um, something seems... Oh. Uh, nope. Actually, it looks good. It's just in pieces, and so it's hard to kind of follow. But yeah, okay. Alright, so that's four. How long are you gonna go for? Are you stuck forever? Things are getting funky. Okay. Avid MC, I found, uh, Chase says, I found a way to make a custom boss bar for Bedrock. You have to use Withers. I've heard of this method. Um, and it is, it is insane. It is, you have to, hang on, just checking to make sure. You have to create a Wither and then the, that makes the boss bar. And then you need to harm the Wither the same amount as the boss that you're trying to kill. That's just insane. Why don't they just give you the boss bar command? Why would they do that? Um, all right, let's try to play the first four here and see how this works. We're halfway, but I, we're, well, I would say in terms of getting this done, we are beyond halfway, but, uh, cause now it's just about copying things. MLG! Keep going. This is cool. What do you guys think? Oh, this one's going to have to be a lot longer, I think. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, that one's gonna have to be longer, but I think that's perfect. That's really, really good. Hey, Galaxy, you're working on the refined version of my uh, animatic. I'm excited. That's gonna be so cool. I cannot wait. Um, and, oh, which boss did you end up picking? Um, yeah, Duvid, to your point, it's fast, and I think it might be a little too fast. So we're gonna have to balance these uh, according to how long it takes, I think. So, But that's the cool thing is now we can just play with the blocks. So, do 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 do. We have all eight of our chandeliers up here, and if we want them to be a little longer, we just add a couple more blocks of gold here. So that's that's why I really like using this method over scoreboards is it's kind of cool, like you can see it. Now, of course, it explodes everything. It makes a giant mess, which is, <laughs> it's it's not not perfect. But uh, overall, I say this isn't so bad. It's a bit of a bit of a mess, bit of a machine. Um, Galaxy, so you did a bit of a mix. So for those who don't know, uh, Galaxy ha is working on an, um, an animation of the boss fights um, video. So me fighting some of those boss fights. And I'm super excited. I cannot wait to see that. It's going to be so cool. Um, Chase says, I don't know why uh, they don't fix the floating point errors in Bedrock. I did Tell me more about the floating point errors. Um, if you fall through the world, um, you fall through the world because of those issues? Oh my goodness. I mean, that's just, that's unacceptable. And I understand, I mean, Bedrock is on so many platforms, there's so many different problems that could happen, so I get it, but yeah, that's, it's a it's a bummer that there are so many bugs on Bedrock. And then the bugs that are on Java are just considered features. However, I will say that the bugs on Java aren't like that. They aren't just totally game-breaking. I mean, that would be, that, that, would, that would make me stop playing and, and I, like, if it just killed me, like, especially imagine you had a hardcore world, you just can't have a hardcore world then. Is that right? Like, do people play hardcore on Bedrock? Is there hardcore on Bedrock? I'm gonna take a sip of water. Yeah, Bedrock does have some game breaking bugs. That's what, I'm, that's what I'm gathering. I'd still play it. I mean, it looks fun. If I could play it on my phone, sure, that's cool. Um, I, love, I love me some Minecraft. Though, uh, <clears throat> doing commands on Minecraft it, on your phone, uh, no thank you. Um, we do have a, uh, we do have a few people, uh, if Snake is still here, they actually code like Minecraft adventures on their phone and it is unbelievable. Um, yeah, I wonder if, if Snake is still here, I'm like, every time Snake, Snake and Expired Noodles, when they post stuff, um, in my discord, oh my gosh, I'm always blown away. Uh, okay, so let's see. No hardcore. There's no hardcore in Bedrock. Go figure. Okay. These slimes! <laughs> I can't just... Oh, wait. I can just shoot it, obviously. Okay, so the next one here... Um, I forgot to put light in my inventory, and I don't want to clear my inventory. Give me... I changed my name. Avid YT. <laughs> I'm not Avid 2 anymore. Um, light. Now we can see where the light is. And we will shoot this one more time. Okay. 
So the next, and then they go this way. Okay, yep, we can do that. And it doesn't go down any further. So we are gonna fill from this location. Mm-hmm. And let's see, this chandelier. So we'll fill to, yes, this is a good location, up here. Fill from here, oh shoot, here to here. Okay, and we go back up to the command block room. Oh my gosh, you guys are chatty. I can't even keep up. Oh my goodness. Give a S, uh, thought you were sleeping, Waterflow. Waterflow, why aren't you sleeping? It's late for you. <laughs> I feel like I'm constantly nagging people in my Discord to go to sleep. Sleep is so important. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, Wow, uh, Alien Ed says, I made hardcore on Bedrock using XP with commands. Interesting, so like, how does that work? Do you, when somebody dies, you just keep killing them over and over again? Is that the idea? Cause that, I guess that, that's technically hardcore. Wow, I didn't realize Bedrock did not have hardcore either, but I guess it makes sense if there are some pretty glaring issues. Um, yeah, that would be problematic. Okay, so let's see here. I'm gonna clear my inventory and we are going to fill up all of these hoppers with 18. Boom, boom. For those uh, on Java, isn't it amazing when you can middle click and place down a block with all of the entity data in it? 18, 18, I just think that's so cool. Uh, I do control middle click and I get that, it's so nice. Um, oh, Waterflow, it's only 9 p.m. there? Oh, never mind. I don't feel so bad. That's, that's not too bad. <laughs> But still, you stayed up pretty late for the boss stream. So yeah, gotta, t gotta take care of your brains. You only have one brain and they can't, and scientists have yet to figure out how to replace that. Um, and I'm now realizing I can be smart about this. So my, so we go three, seven, two. Oh yeah, we can use some math here. I don't have to copy all these commands over. So the prior was three, seven, two. Let's see, this is 15. 17, minus 17. Okay, so 72 is not the one that changes. 21 is the one that changes. 23, okay, so we just jump by two every time. Oh, I can do that. Yeah, okay. So let's see, this one was 23, so the next one would be 25. This, we're gonna pay it forward because now things are gonna go really fast and we're gonna probably, my guess is in the next 10 minutes, we'll be able to play this thing all the way through. We can start balancing it and uh, and we'll see how that goes. Let's see, 16, 27. And then this is, we're gonna go over to 29. And we'll do this one over to 29. Sorry, I'll check chat in a second. I was just making sure all these are right. Probably one of them's wrong. Um, Night B, hype. What am I seeing hype on? Oh, hype, I assume, Trog, hype on uh, on maybe testing this thing out, which would be pretty cool. Um, so we've done number four, just trying to keep track of, let's take a look. So we've done one, two, three, and four, and we just coded up five, did we not? Yes. So this is five, so that means there's only three left, and we just paid it forward a little bit with some extra effort. Now, hopefully in a moment here, yes, it goes back. Five are done. Alrighty, on to number six. Number six. So this one is this block. Yoop. <laughs> are you guys all dabbing? <laughs> Doobie says it's an elbow cough. Yeah, that's <laughs> dabbing. Everyone's dabbing in the chat right now. It's hilarious. I love that. <laughs> Or or coughing, uh, which is also very possible. Stay stay healthy, people. Um, question from Alien: Have you ever tried to make a boss or something like that on Bedrock? I have very limited Bedrock experience. Um, the only time that I've really dipped my toe into Bedrock was um, my very first video was about creating spheres and circles um, using armor stands. I love I love making shapes with armor stands. I just think they are so underused. Um, and they're so powerful. I mean, people can use world edit, but I don't, I don't use world edit. So, um, 
I, I dipped into Bedrock so I could figure out how to get it to work in Bedrock. And the funny thing about armor stands in Minecraft Bedrock, unlike Java, is they can't look up or down. You can't change the head angle. So as a result, uh, you can't do the spheres uh, trick where you make it paint an entire sphere. So, oh, that's weird. Why are they dying in the... Okay, we'll have to check that out. Maybe they're, maybe they're taking damage because they're not invulnerable. I can fix that. Um, so anyways, yeah, you have to use uh, end crystals <laughs> in bedrock, which is just so funny. Yep, that works. And it's gonna do that one because it's copying the command. And then in a moment here, that should go away. We'll figure out the fill command for number six. Yep, and it comes back. Number six is mostly done. We're cruising through these now. We're cruising. Get out of here, you slime. Kill this slime. Do that, okay. Uh, I need a light in my hands. Alrighty, alrighty, yep. We're gonna fill from here. Nope, actually we're gonna fill from here. Somebody in the chat, I don't like bacon. Uh, question on end crystals. Yeah, end crystals are the only entity in Minecraft Bedrock that can, at least as from my testing, that you can control whether it's looking up or down. And uh, and that's kind of frustrating because it makes it makes it really hard to draw things with. Uh, you can't usually I use armor stands; they're just easier to work with. Um, but uh, you have to use end crystals in in bedrock. All right, um, I need to get a little lower here, unless that's the highest point. It's not. So what I'm gonna do is grab like here. I'm just like trying to be close enough with all this. Phil, I like ramen too. <laughs> Banishment check time from Waterflow. Waterflow, can you keep track of who's banished? <laughs> For those of you not on the Discord, um, people have been getting banished. And uh, and it's it's not anything personal. It's just that some people claim they don't like pizza. And that to me is just impossible. There's just, there's no way. Um, it, it's gotta be, it, it's, it's lies. Um, so, you know, immediately banished uh, without question, of course. Um, and obviously they're kept on the Discord, but they have a tag that says banished, and it's awesome. Zoe, you're losing service. Oh no. Where, are you on your phone? <laughs> um, pizza is too good. Best pizza topping. Yeah, chat, best pizza topping. <laughs> Trog, is that a bumping elbows emoji? I like am squinting at my screen trying to figure out what on earth that emoji is. <laughs> Best pizza topping we have so far. First answer, cheese. Well, that's that's very original. <laughs> uh, pineapple, pineapple's good. Pepperoni gets a little a little greasy for me, so I, I can't I can't back the pepperoni train today. Maybe tomorrow. Tomato sauce, cheese 2.0. Water flow. <laughs> Pizza, pizza, pizza. <laughs> Jackson says, uh, any Italian person ever. Uh, can confirm, I am Italian. I have been to Italy. And every restaurant, I swear to you, every restaurant on the, on, on like in Rome especially, I think they're made for tourists, but the restaurant name is literally called like pizza pasta. Like, I, I, no joke. Because I think they're trying to say like, this is what we serve, but like they also don't have a name for their restaurant. It just says pizza pasta. Um, Oh, Zoe, you're on mobile on your way home. Oh, gotcha, cool. Well, thanks for joining on mobile. It's super awesome. Um, I am from everywhere, water flow. That is right. I am everything and everywhere. Okay, here's our next stage. That's looking pretty good. So then you're gonna shoot this one. We have two left to do. You're gonna shoot this one, and that is gonna fill out what section? Let's see, let's do this one one more time. Um, what the heck? Pineapple is gross on pizza, says Zoe. Uh, is it? Is it? I think it's pretty good. In fact, I just, I just had pineapple on pizza, like, yesterday. And it was delicious. Uh, okay. So they'll see some stuff down there. Mm-hmm. Yep. So we're gonna go from here. And we're gonna swoop around. And let's see, 
That's gonna reveal this section. Hope you're ready, guys. We're two away. We are two away. I'm gonna put this in the chat. Anyone on? No, it's just me. Okay. Oh, I can't grab obsidian because there's a slime in there. What's that slime doing there? This is faster if I just say set block. Guess what? Pineapple actually is a chemical that has a particular taste for flesh. Chase, you are correct. Yeah, uh, they say pineapple starts digesting you before you start digesting it. That's that's spooky. Um, <laughs> oh, man. Okay, all right. So we have only number seven and number eight left. And I did the hard work of getting all of the commands ready for number seven already. So let's drop in those commands. And this is nice because I can kind of talk, I can kind of look at chat while I do this. Well, sort of. Um, Obsidian is crying. Lucas says, Obsidian is crying because it has slime in it. It's true. It's very true. Hey, water flow's here. In game. Too bad, uh, <laughs> too bad, you know, water flow's not in like a deep dark or something because we could totally troll him. Uh, Avid, what is the slime summon command you use to get it to that exact size? Uh, that is a great question. Let's take a quick look. Where do I summon the slime? I summon it over here. And it must be this one. No. This one? No. Oh, right. How are you stuck in the sanctuary? All right, I'll come save you. Hold on a second. Um, so slime, summon slime. Silent, glowing, persistent, without AI, health, a lot. Probably need to make that higher. Size, here's the, here's the golden. S slimes can have a certain size. And so you give them size one, and they are exactly the same size as a block. He can't get to spawn. How so, uh, like, you're stuck in sanctuary and you can't get to spawn. Oh dear. Uh, maybe this will help. Give. Water flow, ender pearl. How about this? <laughs> we'll see if that helps. <laughs> Clear it. Clear it. Clear it. All right, let's go help him out. I don't know. I don't know what's going on here. I'll set this command just so I'm. Uh, hold on. Whoa! This is pretty. Whoa, look at this little path. <gasps> Spoilers! Okay, let's see what's going on over here. Yes, what is this? <gasps> Oh, what's down here? Is it death? Now what? Oh. Oh! Made you- Oh, come on! <laughs> I thought it was gonna be something fancy! <laughs> cool. Water flow has made a base with flowing water. Who would have guessed? <laughs> wow. This is super cool in here. I love how it's like this flooded cave. It's very cool. Um, okay, so question. Any tips um, for an AI boss fight against Pema? Um, yeah, because Chase, you're, you're kind of recreating that fight. This is a cool bed, too. Um, hang on one second. I'm going to teleport back to here because I, do I don't want to lose my... Uh, <laughs> I don't want to lose my spot. Water flow, I'll come save you in a little bit. Um, my tips are to give your boss as much... Oh, okay, hang on. I, he did, really does need me. Uh, okay, hang on. My tips are to give the AI as much uh, character as possible. Um, because AIs in general, like how I did it with the wall where you have all those faces, I think that's one way to really make your boss come alive. Make it blue? Just make it blue. But can't you just use an anvil? I'm so confused. 
If it, this is why I'm here? Okay. It's blue now. Where did he go? <laughs> what is happening? Guys, I feel like I'm being trolled. Here. Now I'm, I need to get back to work. You're welcome. I got dunked, everybody. I'm pretty sure I just got dunked. Tip for the boss fight, says Jackson. Make sure they hurt the player. Now that's something. I meant like blue, blue. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so funny. <laughs> well, instructions were slightly unclear. I'll just say. Um, all right, so number seven is not complete because we were distracted. Number seven is doing this. So let's head up there. We have two left, guys. We have two left. Yeah, water flow is trolling me, Galaxy. I agree. I think we just got trolled. And I gave a free... I, I broke the integrity of the server by giving a free uh, renaming. Yeah, I can't... I, I can't be doing that. That's cheating. Okay. So there we go. And this should finish up number seven. I think. Let's see. Okay. And let's head on over to this again and try out number seven. Chase, you're using structure blocks for the faces. I love that. Please, please, please share that um, once you have it. That would be super cool. Uh, I would love to see kind of how how you took it in your own, uh, you know, took it on your own way and also how you were inspired. I would love to see that. Um, my enter key is getting kind of sticky. That's weird. Uh, okay, so let's reset this. Head on down. Oh, it didn't get reset. Oh, shoot. What have I done? I probably had didn't finish the command. Bar flow is distracting me, guys. This is, I've heard streamers say things take about 50 million times as long when you're streaming. Yeah, I get it now. So many ways to like, so many different directions for your brain to go. I don't mind though. I, I actually really enjoy that. Um, okay. Rusted. Let's see. So these are all correct. I must have just stopped. Yeah, I stopped on this one, I bet. Nope, that one looks good. Head on over here and make sure our reset looks good. Do, 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 do. And this one as well, just to make sure. Okay. Yep, Trog streamer brain. It's true. Cause you're you're just trying you're trying to do so many different things. Um, Alien Eds Gaming. To be honest, if you made a video or just streamed, uh, you're trying to make uh, something in Bedrock. I would watch it. Okay, <laughs> I will do that. I will do that at some point. Wow, that is all that fills there, huh? That's surprising. Kill this slime. Break that. Okay then kill this slime break that wow that seems like it doesn't give you much but like what is this little bit all right hold on a second let's do this a little bit smarter um i'm going to have two commands here that sets i can't with this slime here dang you slime Slimes get in the way of that. All right, so the first one is set that to air. And the next, I just need to be able to see. I can't tell really what's going on. Set this block to air. Okay, now we should be able to set that one to air. And set this one to air at the same time. Okay, I'm seeing now. I understand. Okay, so that creates the nub there. And then that creates the little extra nub all right, that is working as expected. And now the only thing left is to do the last one and then test it out. Um, let's see, okay. Avid stream a random Steam game. <laughs> Doesn't that mean I have to buy a Steam game? Who thinks, Trog? I will make it first try, I bet. No, I won't. Um, all right, Dippy8, who's ready for Dippy8? <laughs> Set block here. Dippy eight guys, this is it. This is gonna be it. Overdrive. Is that Zo Zoe? Is Zoe on? That looks like Zoe. I think we got another player on. 
Hey yo. I think ZR, I would guess. I don't know though. Does Zoe have a secret name? I don't know about. <laughs> or is there somebody whitelisted on this server that must be Zoe? Um, am I? Okay. All right. So that's that one. There's this one. Alrighty, here we go. So I'm gonna fill from here. Falling. We're good though, I got it. This is the one! I agree. So Zoe remoted into uh, her PC with no service. Had to close my stream. That's fine. <laughs> that is okay. I'm also dumping a lot of coordinates into the chat. All right, last one. Okay, welcome, welcome, welcome. All right, so the first coordinate. <laughs> and Zoe's gone. Avid should play Fortnite. If I if I played Fortnite, uh, you would see a side of me that would make you not like me. And I would see a side of me that would make me not like me. <laughs> Fortnite, Fortnite makes me so mad. I can't, I can't, I can't do it. No way. Um, Exceeded Fox. Hey, I'm making a server like Windcraft or Hypixel, Skyblock. Anything you could tell me, uh, I might need to, uh, to know. Zoe's back. Um, I would say make sure to test with multiple people because what's going to happen is you're going to make something that works with one person in the room and you're not going to consider all of the weird kind of edge cases that happen when there are two people. Like, Maybe you're checking to see if a player dies, or maybe you're checking to see if, you know, I don't know, a player is in a certain area. You have to make sure that you're always checking for multiple people, if it's gonna be a multiplayer world. Um, yeah, Trog, I like what you're getting at. So, people, I'm about to finish this thing. What are your bets on if I'm actually gonna survive the first try? I'd like to, I'd like to see your bets in the chat. <laughs> yeah, hackers in Fortnite. It's full of hackers. I hope I got all these commands right. Gosh, we're gonna have to find out. I'm scared. Uh, zero out of 10, zero out of 10. Um, what are we betting, Trog? Uh, yeah, what? that's true. How does How's the betting gonna work here? Super stickers. I don't even know how those work. <laughs> I have no idea. Can I, can I give people a sticker? So help, I'm new to this. All right, well. Let's see, so some of these uh, have broken because the slimes have died, so let me just reset them. That's something I'll fix off camera. So far looking good though. Yes, looking very good. All right, the thing is, if I die to bu a bug, then 20 euro, please. <laughs> don't, don't spend money, guys. This is, whew. Okay, uh, let me get a bed. We're gonna do this legit. This is it, I think. I don't know. I I, I could have uh, I could have messed some stuff up. Do not bet money. <laughs> do not. Do not. To save money for yourself. Save it for your future. Okay. Whew. Here we go. Three, two, you do not have to become a patron. There is no, there is no pressure. One, oh wait, I only have one arrow. Hold on, because I'm in adventure mode. Here we go. Three, no cheating. Three, two, one. Oh no, that one broke guys. That one's broken, hold on, this doesn't count. <laughs> it was, the slime is gone. Hang on a second, I'm sorry. That one doesn't, it, it technically doesn't count because the thing broke. Hold on, see it's uh, it's not glowing anymore. 
Bug! I told you there were bugs. They all have to be lit, and I- the problem is, these slimes can't be invulnerable because they have to take a, uh, <laughs> it's okay. It's okay, Lucas. Uh, they- they- yeah. So they can potentially suffocate, so I probably need to increase their health. Let's try one more time. Oh, I lost my mining arrows. Hang on a second. I gotta go get some mining arrows. Yes, you do die. I was actually in adventure mode, though, uh, Snake. Mining arrows. Get some of those. Okay. Real? Is this the real attempt now? They're all lit. I don't- I'll fix that bug off camera, because it's probably gonna be super boring to fix for you guys, but here we go. I'm in adventure mode. My spawn is set. Oh, actually, uh, I need some more arrows. Here we go. For real this time. For real. See any? All are lit. Okay. Here we go. Thanks, water flow. <laughs> okay, technically not first try. <laughs> you. No, that was me. We're gonna keep going though. We're gonna keep going because it's fun. And we're gonna beat it at least one time. So far, it feels pretty balanced. Feels pretty balanced. <laughs> okay, here we go. Ready? Come on now. Shoot that one. This is my MLG right here. That, I think, I didn't even plan for that, but that's how it works. Yep, 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 yep. Here we go. Oh my gosh. It's starting to get really dicey. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> that was so cool, though. Like, it, it is super fun. It is really fun. Um, wow. Yeah, I'm all about this. All right, let's try again. I mean, we can adjust. I, I don't know. I'm feeling like the difficulty, if it takes me several tries and I can get it, I feel like the difficulty's there. You could spend so much time, like, adjusting difficulties, but is it really... I don't know. Sometimes you just got to get good. Like this. Guys, I'm so good at parkour, you remember? Oh no, that's bad. Let's try this. Oh, that's not good. I tried something. I tried something. Why were there no sounds for the last two dripples? Um, it's possible that the sound effects are not uh, working correctly. So I, I will fix that. Again, we go. We go. Come on, I mean, we just built this. We gotta be able to beat it. Here we go. Yep. <laughs> uh-huh. Mm-hmm. <sighs> okay. No time to dilly. No time to dally. Oh, that one's tough, guys. I don't know about that one. I think I need to just rethink the strategy on... Welcome to the avid Waterflow says. I did get very close, stupid. I know, I know, it's so close. Um, let's see, question. Hey, avid, did you play Oberos 5? I have not yet. I have been, uh, I've been finishing up this little thing. So, uh, but I would like to see if my voice holds out. Things seem to be resetting properly, too. Um, okay, here we go. Try using the high path. I agree, Sky Knight. Let's do it. Let's do it. You know, the funny thing about making this stuff is, like, all of these paths are pretty much randomly placed. Like, it, the fun comes down to you put down random stuff, and it's the emergent behaviors of players, of people playing it. You know? High path. High path! Clutch high path. Watch this. <sighs> Woo! Oh, I'm dead. 
I know how to do it now, though. I'm <laughs> sorry, everybody. This is not going to be another stream where I die a hundred times, is it? <laughs> on my own, on my own creation. Because if that were the case, that would be pretty typical. Pretty typical. Now we got it. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling really good. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Yes. Yes. No pressure. High path. Always high path. Stay up on the high path. This is a big one. Ah, that's much better. Oh no, I should have shot way sooner. <sighs> that's dumb. If I'm, I'm dead, I'm not dead. We have a bug, but I think I can overcome the bug. Yes, 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 come on. I did it. That platform there was broken. Did you guys, I see, yes. Yes, my hand is in the air. I don't have a face cam, <laughs> but oh yeah. What do you think? I get free patats. Hooray. Oh my gosh. Wow. That was super cool, guys. Wow. Oh, I'm super happy. Oh, I fell. <laughs> That's super cool from the bottom, though. <laughs> Dip eight. Dip eight, everybody. Dip eight. Oh, man. Oh, wow. Okay. I'm super happy with how this went. First try. That's right, alien. Yep. First try. I had to, I think the slimes are dying. So I'll, I'll work on, I'll work on this bug. Um, but overall, I mean, that's super cool. That's so that's way better than how the ephemeral platforms used to work, which was just like you would walk and they would, they would show up, you know, um, actually I can turn this on. So for those who have, have not seen, this is how they used to work. This is it. You just discover them, you know, this is so much cooler of a mechanic to have to work with our arrows to create those platforms. I think that's like, yeah, I think that's super cool. So anyways, there it is. See you, Waterflow. So um, what I'm thinking is we have finished our goal. I have a little bit of tea and a little bit of water left. So as promised, we are gonna play a quick, as far as I can get, <clears throat> in Orboros, Orboros, I hope I'm, Oreo, Oreo Boros 5, which is a map created by a community member, Withermax YT. Um, so definitely uh, check them out. Uh, they are probably in the chat. Ooh, that's cool. Looks super cool. So I don't know really much about this map. Um, but I, I'm excited to play. I, I, I don't know if there's any parkour. I'm glowing. I'm beautiful. <laughs> uh, okay. Ant, anti. Oh gosh, that's a word. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna keep. Oh goodness. Okay. Uh, Oberos Five by Withermax YT. Special thanks to the Oberos community. This is cool. Ooh. There is a berry in uh, Sky Knight says there's a berry in Super Mario Galaxy that you eat causes paths to appear. After a while, it wears out and the path gets smaller until you eat the next berry. Um, yeah, I'm, I was kind of inspired, I think, by a Mario mechanic. Um, yeah, I totally I, it's like having platforms appear. That's such a Mario thing, you know, super, super cool um, kind of idea. So ooh, these buildings are really pretty. They remind me a lot of, uh, Vilethorn slash Rosewood. Um, but I think they, that, you know, Withermax took a totally different approach and just kept them white all the way up. And I, I think it's pretty. Oh, hello, Mr. Sheep. Hello, friend. <laughs> oh man. Some pretty music. I can't get in there. Hang on a second. I am gonna turn, I assume that's ambience. It is not. What, where's that music coming from? Jukebox, master? I guess I'll just turn master down. All right. So what is going on in this little valley? Some barrels? Sheep of doom or sheep of friendship? Yeah, speaking of, of talking sheep, the music is for Minecraft Vanilla. I, I figured, I just wanted to adjust the volume. Uh, there's a button. 
Okay, let's go find the button. Um, yeah, so speaking of talking sheep, uh, if you guys don't know, Devin's desk, uh, he has created, Devin specifically, has created something called the True Vanilla uh, Survival Data Pack. I hope I got that all right. And, uh, and the way that this data pack works is super cool. It makes Minecraft a lot harder, um, but it's just a data pack. And, and Devin is going to talk all about it um, in, uh, in my stream with him on Friday. Party C settings. Okay, there's, there's a button somewhere. At the sheep with a big sign saying start. Aha, I should read. I do not read. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I will be actually streaming with Devin's desk on Friday, and we're gonna talk all about true survival, uh, the data pack, as well as we are going to uh, play the deep which is uh, probably one of my favorite quests. Um, if you guys don't know, uh, last week, Dr. Trog and I played, aha. Dr. Trog and I played uh, Cloud's Rest. Whoa. Trippy. What's up there? <laughs> Settings. Whoa. Uh, what did that say? Something about the chat. Okay. Hostile creatures. Oh, these are settings that I should have on. Okay, talismans. Talismans are active buffs, which you can use. Uh, yep, I'm familiar with those. Armor and weapons, I'm familiar. Enemies are the creations of Charlie Smokebeard. Okay. Socials, cool. Start. Start? Did I, do I have to press everything? Hold on. Start? The Deep, home of Al. I have to put the button. Oh, you mean like, I have to put a button there? Is there, is there a secret? Uh, yes, okay, hang on a second. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, I need to enable cheats. Wait a second. Is my brain broken? Oh, press on the sign. Agrides, I don't, I think I need to, uh, the creator is saying open to land cheats. Yeah, I need to open to land. I need to put a button there. Okay, um, hang on a second. <laughs> you guys don't see this. There we go. Was I an adventure or, or survive? What? What? Okay, I think I did the right thing. Yes. Okay. Whoa! All right. Objective, eliminate targets. Okay. Ooh, these are cool heads. This little potion head here. Uh huh. Spooky. Let's uh, you know what? Let's switch out the music. Let's switch out to go to epic. Crank it a little bit too. Let me know if that music is is loud enough for y'all. Okay. I see some levers. That's cool. It's neat little effect. Hmm. Uh, how do you put text above the hotbar? I believe that's with the title command. Look, it's a little dark in here. Oh, I found a lever. Aha! I'm good at this. Ah! What the heck was that? Oh no! Where's all my stuff? Oh my gosh! ST connection, what does that mean? Level one scout. Jeez, is there? Okay, hang on. Ow, ow, hold on. No, ow. Okay, put on the helmet. Ah, a sword. Yes. Jeez, what a jerk. Jeez, he's got a lot of health. Oh, you're a jerk. You're a jerk. I hope you know. Oh, 
Hang on. Stop it. Oh. Woo. Um, okay, uh, someone... Okay, say, thank you, Player Minecraft. Um, yeah, so in terms of being whitelisted or shrouded dials, right now it's just a private server um, for my friends, so uh, there's no real way to get whitelisted. Um, it's just kind of just people who are helping, you know, play the map, test the map, um, but really it's people that I know in real life um, or have built a, a close relationship with close enough to uh, to invite them onto the server, but I do appreciate your, your interest um, and... Yeah, I, one day I will release the map, so that's going to be the, probably the best way to play it. Um, but uh, we'll see. Okay, I think I have some gear, you guys. Do you think this might... This, mu this must be everything, right? Oh, there's a lot of swords here. How many swords do you need? I got, like, one in my left hand, one in my right hand, one in my teeth. Rusty boots, rusty chest plate. I would like some pants. Common boots, okay. Put the armor on. Yes, you're right, Sky Knight. Look at this now. Come at me. I got two swords. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh gosh, it's horrible in there. No. Oh my goodness. Skeletons with swords. This is bad. This is already going to be bad for me, isn't it? Here, I have an idea. Later, nerds. Oh. Come on. Do it again. Later, nerds. <laughs> Just lock them away, right? This is tough. Come on. Gotta get the crits. I have food. I need to be using that, definitely. Man, these guys have a ton of health. Super tanky. All right. I'm gonna get infection from the rust. Yeah, wearing pants that are rusty. Come on now. Some baked potatoes, some apples. Hmm. Mm-hmm. This seems to be a way through. Later, nerds, dies. This guy that says, uh, let's see. Oh, okay, come on. How am I supposed to fight these guys? There's so many. I think it's supposed to be multiplayer. I don't want to go back into the room where I died. Let's see. Yeah, later, nerds. Ow. I'm good at this. Come on now. Ow. Oh, no, I'm back in the room with the... <laughs> all right, all right. I see there's a little bit of difficulty to this map. It's okay. It's closing door simulator. I'm gonna close the door on all of you guys. Yeah, come get stuck up here. Yep, goodbye. Goodbye. Ah, diamond chest plate. Oh my goodness. This is tough right now. Get out of here. Man, I feel like I don't have necessarily the gear that I need to, uh, to, to do anything against these guys and I'm getting spawn camped now. This was my own doing. All right, well, all right. Plan number one is I'm gonna take out all these guys. We're just gonna take them all out, one by one. They got a lot of, they are so tanky. I need like better, I need better weapons. I bet there's something that's coming up for me later in the dungeon is my guess. I'm gonna keep trying. Oh, I don't give up, don't worry. I'm just gonna clear out my spawn room just so I don't have this mess. And uh, I am going to try to uh, do mostly evasion on those mobs in the other room. Because I think if I could get a shield, I could pro I'll probably I'll probably be fine. Um, okay. We got our gear. Let's move. Ah, there's so many in this room. Come on. Come on in. Come on. Let's go. Yep. It's a party. It's a party in here. Excuse me. Ouch. Oh my goodness. I'm swarmed. I'm okay though. Yes, nerds. Stuck in there now. Now I have only a few guys to deal with. I do not, now the danger is death. Oh, speaking of. Just keep at him. I can do this. I'm good at stuff. Nope, I'm not good at stuff. Eat a baked potato. Jeez, there's so many guys in here. There's so many. Oh, this is not a good place to be. Oh my gosh, Wither Max! There's so many guys! How am I supposed to do anything here? Alright, I'm going up the stairs. Boots! A chest plate. That's not very helpful. Sword. Wait, is that a, is that I don't know if that's better. Yeah, that was better than what I had. That would actually help. We need some offensive capability. Try killing them. Never. 
Okay, oh, I got a, oh, I saw a netherite helmet in there. That's my plan. All right, guys, I have a plan. Basically, I'm going to, uh, oh, what's this term called? Corpse run, except I don't actually have to do that, but I'm gonna corpse run all of the gear in here. Yeah, that'll work. Let's give ourselves some breathing room. Take care of some of these guys. That's right, crits, crits for days. If I can get, if I can get an iron sword, I think I'd be in really good shape. What's that? Apples, golden, that's fine. This is a good ax. This is something, this is, this is progress people. This is progress. Yes, Avid, try killing them, says Sky Knight. Oh, I should have thought of that. This ax is good. That's what I'm talking about. A couple shots now on these. Golden ax, OP. Oh yeah, I've leveled up. Yeah, get your face broken, nerds. It's a little dark, a little dark. Let's pull it back. Come into the room. Come on, friends. Come on, come here. Don't be afraid. I'm just gonna whack you. <laughs> okay, yes, yes, yes. Goodbye. Me, you, uh-huh, that's right. That's right. All right, that's not so bad. When you have uh, when you have better gear, why am I green? Why do I look like this? Um, oh, see you later, Ead. Tip: Don't die from Duvid. Get them. I agree. Dream is bad. Dream is bad. I. <laughs> that's a name. Um, <laughs> yes, Avid, stop slaying my own species. But what are you talking about? I'm a. I'm not a skeleton. Um, why am I spamming with an axe? Because I play creative Minecraft, as you can tell. <laughs> and uh, and that, that may limit my ability to uh, to do things in, in regular survival. <laughs> That's okay. Oh my gosh, those guys, level five skeleton? No way. All right, we gotta gear up more. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the offense, but we don't have the defensive capabilities yet, so. Let's get upstairs and try to grab... I think this axe is super good. Oh no, oh gosh, I'm getting knocked around. Ow! Okay, this axe is super good. Uh, let's see. I saw your comment. Hi, Dream is Bad. I like to uh, ref say hi to everybody. I, I, I'm not the kind of streamer who just sits around and you know plays and hopes that people just enjoy watching. I like interacting with my community, so, and you guys are awesome. Um, so thanks for being here today. Uh, ah, yes, yes. Um, Avid is a nerd. Killing, who did that? Teammate, Avid me, was killed. I, my, am my own teammate. Guys, I'm clearing this dungeon out. I don't know if you know this, but I'm actually doing a pretty good job. No, no, not you. Okay, I'm gonna eat some food. We have some friends. This gold axe is pretty good, not gonna lie. I hope I get more upgrades, but for now, let's see how it goes. Goodbye. Yes. Get, get your face. Yeah. All right. We cleared out the lobby. This gold axe really made a big difference. We got some baked potatoes, more baked potatoes. Let's see. Uh, Withermax, if you're still here, I changed my name. Yeah. Thanks for the suggestion, Withermax, on Avid YT. It's better than Avid 2, significantly. Um, so I appreciate that. Uh, okay. Okay. So I have lots of boots, and question for you, Withermax, did you randomly place, welcome back, um, did you randomly, steel chest plate, nice, did you randomly place all of this loot, or are these on loot tables? Because if you randomly place all of this loot, seriously, like, major props, that is, that is a lot of work. Um, just to be able, like, all this stuff, I'm like a, I'm such a loot fiend. Okay, hey, no, no, oh, that was close. I gotta get some food, hang on. Okay, we're good. All right, let's eat up here. Avid was taken. Yes, so many names were taken, guys. I'm kind of late to the whole Minecraft uh, YouTuber party where apparently uh, all the names that are good are taken. Let's see, so the health on this is 26. Defense is better on this too. Okay, cool. Um, I think we have some pretty decent gear now. I don't know if you guys see any... The Great Salmon, a talisman, gives me health and defense. Neato. <laughs> I have a fish in my hand. Steel boots. Oh my gosh, my inventory is so full of stuff. 
What am I gonna do with all this stuff? Um, WitherMax says, I don't know how to use loot tables. Wow, so WitherMax placed every single one of, uh, or all of the loot in here by hand. That is unbelievable. That is epic. Just like the music that is playing right now. Um, your name can be taken if it's un unoriginal. This is true. But there are so many people in the world. Um, you wonder, is there actually such thing as an original name anymore? Uh, let's see, rabbit hide is better than the salmon. All right then. Oh yeah, it gives me a speed bonus. I'm gonna put some of my junk in this chest here. This steel helm looks promising. Uh, 15 strength, crit damage. Yeah, sure, I'm in. It's netherite too, so why not? Uh, oh, ah, no, level five. I knew you'd be back, yes. Um, all right, let's, let's dump some of our junk in here. I'm sure it's not junk, but I'm not gonna spend the time min-maxing everything. Steel boots, I don't know, we'll take a look at those. Steel chest plate, I think I already have one of those. Yep, so we'll do the steel boots. I'm just gonna assume. Let's see, I already have a golden ax. Those are pretty good. Chicken soup, mushroom soup. My gosh, so many items already. Um, okay, that's a pretty clean inventory, I'd say. Put some chicken soup in here. Gotta have some chicken soup, right? There, that looks, that's looking pretty good. Uh, let's see. <laughs> the great salmon belongs to bedrock. Another rabbit pelt, and I assume another lever. I heard a door open. I hear a door opening and closing. Okay. Yes, that is my way. That looks horrible over there. Are you serious? Oh, I'm gonna die. All right, let's eat some chicken soup. Get rid of that junk. Up and over the side. Avid suck at survival. Yes, I do not play survival. And so if I ever have to do a series that requires me to do survival, I'm gonna be in, I'm gonna be in a world of hurt. Or I'll just have to learn. I can get good. I, I like to play Dark Souls. So like I do, I don't mind the difficulty and I'm also very, uh, I'm, I'm very persistent. So I will not just like, even if something is super hard, like I'll sleep on it, but then I'll come back. Look at all these guys. Thank gosh there's a no, right now at least, no ranged guys, because that would make me very sad. Level five skeletons are fast. I gotta heal. I got those crits down though, you guys, right? Got those crits down. Uh, Duvid says, in fact, Duvid is my username online now because Duvid was unavail unavailable as a Minecraft username. Well, there you have it. There you have it. Uh, yeah, you're going down. Come on now. And that's another one. Um, Iron Blade, I don't think that's much better. Let's see. My cleaver has a damage of 15. Yeah, my cleaver is really good. I, I prefer axes anyways in general. There's buttons all over. Let's see, anything good, anything worthwhile? I'm another great salmon. Oh, whoa. Useless orange. This item literally does nothing. It's so useless that I decided to put it in the map so I can see if people actually read the description of items like this, come on. This is the third time in a row. Also shout out to it's orange, orange guy. Yep, all right, I'm definitely gonna put that in my inventory. Here we go, perfect. <laughs> it's another one. <laughs> Guys, what if I beat Orbros with the useless orangey in my inventory? Hunter chest plate. This seems like an upgrade, I'll take it. Orange rarity, why not? I still that cracks me up. I love I love items like that. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna play it safe though. That would be funny though. Okay, we got plenty of food. Let's get into the next room, everybody. Ooh, spooky. Danger. Definitely gonna go down there. Uh, lots of soup. Hunter leggings. I think that's an upgrade on our pants on our pantaloons, rusty leggings. Yep, those were, uh, I need a tetanus shot now. No way you're giving up a totem of undying for useless orange. All right, now I'm definitely doing it. Useless orange it is. Guys, if we don't beat the game with useless orange, then we don't beat the game. That is that is my plan right now. We, we play with useless orange. Oh, a hunter helmet, that seems good. And hunter boots, cool, I got the full hunter set, I think. 
Yes, 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 and yes. Cool. I like it. Um, lots of guys down there. Hopefully my orange will protect me. And, uh, and we're gonna head... Oh, this looks horrible. Are you serious? Oh, gosh. Am I really supposed to go down there? Is there another way? No. Okay. Run! The sewers! It's fine. I'm fine. There are silverfish everywhere, and they are attacking me. But I have orangey, so I'm gonna be fine, right? Push me in the right direction. Come on. Push me this way. I'm good. Orangey. Orangey's got my back. I don't need any of that stuff. That's junk. Um... Oh my goodness. They ha- I gave them health too! Oh, I'm such a dummy. It's a splash potion. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> Where am I? Oh, okay. I'm going back in. Orangey, protect me, my friend. You have- I've known you- I love this music right now. I love you. I've loved you since I, I picked you from the orange tree that you came from. Orangey, you and I are gonna make it to the end of Orboros 5. And I will take you out of this dungeon. I promise. I promise you that. That's good. It's perfect music for it. I had to. Uh, I'm hearing that a sword would be better down there, and I agree. Uh, let me go get- let me go get that sword. That's probably- yeah, it's better for the sweeping attack. Man, lots of stuff. Hmm, 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 hmm. Sword, where did I put you? I saw two of them. We'll just go back to the chest that I dumped all my junk in. This one. Iron blade. Best we got. Best we're gonna get. And, uh, I could probably stock up on food. Blub blub. Yes. Uh, okay. Fishes, mushroom stews. I used a lot of my health potions, and I don't think I really want to use them. If Avid reads this, guess the song. Comet, Comet Rain. <laughs> um, Me Galaxy asks, Avid, what are your tips for finding inspiration for your maps? I start with lore. I build the world in, in written text first. And it gives me an idea of where I want to go. And then I, once I have all of that, I then try to figure out how to make it work in Minecraft. Um, take a sip of tea. It's very cold, though. Oh, that is very cold tea. <laughs> uh, once I have an inspiration for, for what I want to make, um, you know, written down, then, yeah, try to make it work. Build, start building things incrementally. You know, it's, it's, it's a marathon, not a sprint when it comes to making big projects like this. And so you just take it one step at a time. How do I come up with the lore? Um, I take inspiration from things. I, I play games, I watch movies, I, I, I dream. I, sometimes it comes from my, you know, when I'm sleeping and I dream about something. Um, I've had boss fights come to me when I'm sleeping, <laughs> whether that's good or bad, maybe it means I play too much Minecraft. Um, but, uh, but yeah, uh, you know, it's just, it's just about reading things, getting inspiration and then saying, how can I apply this? Ow! You can't climb things. Oh, this is bad. Oh, man, I wasted a health potion. Oh, shoot. Um, yeah. Wow, level 15, too. Those guys are tough. It's all just about having it in the back of your mind of what you want to make and then doing things that inspire you, watching other people, and always having that thing in the back of your mind going, hmm, how can I... These water mites are butts. <laughs> They're butt heads. <laughs> Seriously. Um, I have dreamt about command blocks. Uh, I have dreamt about a lot of boss fights, and I can't help it. Um, I have one boss fight that I dreamt about the other night that I don't know how I'm going to do. Uh, it's going to involve really cool AI, though. It's going to be a, ways, a while from now. This is a hard part, by the way. Not going to lie. It's a really hard part. I'm actually going to use my health potion because I don't want to die, even though I know those are probably hard to come by. Waterflow said they're stronger than God. Oh, cool. Another talisman. I'm not using it. It's me and Orangey till the end. Hunter's helmet, Hunter's chest plate, more food. Here's something for you. Ouch. 
All right. We're heading down. Water flow might have a point. These guys are pretty tough. If I had ranged weapons, though, I mean, what's nice is they get really, they get really jammed up in the water, but they do have a lot of uh, health, and the, and they they hit like a truck. I do not like bugs. We actually had a bunch of spiders uh, in our house, and uh, you guys won't believe this. You know, like when you're a kid and they talk about spiders, and they're like the poison, the most poisonous spider out there is like up there is like the black widow. Right? Well, we had black widows, like, in our house. Like, we had them. Like, it was, like, super, super scary um, to be like, what's going to, you know, like, at any moment, like, a spider could come out and, like, get you, you know? Super scary. Um, I flipped the switch, by the way. I'm going to assume that opens some kind of door. Uh, generally, that's what they do. But uh, let's see. So, so yeah, so we had a black, we had not a ton of black widows, but right now where I'm from, uh, this is madness, by the way. Do you see how many are down there? Um, there are a lot of black widows where, where I am right now. It's weird. It's weird because we never really had that. All right, I'm going to take a gamble. Uh, actually, is that the way? This might be the way. Yeah! And I'm out. Oh, there's more? You got to be kidding me. You got to be kidding me. All right. Um, jump. Jump. Come on. I'm faster than them in the water. So that's kind of the advantage is you don't really need to fight them. A book. A pickaxe. Okay. Ow. Uh-oh. 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 Oh, okay. That pickaxe is probably, yes, can break andesite walls. I figured. I figured that was the way I was moving forward. All right, let's take some of our junk, drop it off. Equip my health OTS. Um, OTS, health pots. Yes, good point. Though I, I try not to use health pots. Um, I'm just like a hoarder when it comes to that stuff. A book, a pickaxe. Let's take a look at the book. I like lore. Kobe Mason. Kobe Mason was an employee for Cytech in 1992. His job was sewer management, and he loved it. Though, some employees thought he was a bit weird sometimes. Okay. Brother Max says I might want to use talismans. But guys... Alright, chat, why don't you vote? Orange or talismans? I'll wait. I'm gonna take a sip of tea. Orange or talismans? The orange is still technically in my inventory, that is true. But also as a talisman. I'm getting lots of votes for orange. <laughs> Wither Max, you are the creator. I I do hear you. Uh, oh man, I don't know. So many people. So many people say orange. It is what it is. We're gonna make it work. Even talismans won't help me. That's exactly right. That's the right attitude, is I'm doomed. Alright, here we go. Come on. Everybody this way. What is this song? This is in my epic playlist. Let's skip that one. My gosh. Accordions? No way. Okay. Go, 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 go. Keep moving, people. Keep moving. Oh, that guy was low on health. Oh my gosh, there's so many silverfish over here. Or water mites. Water flows. So many water flows. Yeah, guys, Orange didn't choose to be in the dungeons. You know, so like we are here to save Orange. I think that's gonna be the entire story, honestly. All right, I'm a champion. Here we go. Keep the orange. Keep the orange. I hear it. I hear you. Loud and clear. Hello, mister. I have the high ground, Anakin. <laughs> he didn't listen. This seems like a secret. Oh my gosh. Help! I thought I could get under here, but the water's, uh, I don't know. I don't know why I can't. Do it. Okay. Ow. They can't get underwater very easily, it looks like. Yeah, I think I need to go that way. Oh my gosh, the room's just filling up with these nerds. This is a good sword. I did not realize how good of a sword this was. Oh my goodness. Junk. 
Okay, we're gonna jump over them, all right? Here we go. How do I, can I swim here? Is there a way to do that? Wow, this does so much damage. I think I need to get into that room to, to initiate the swim. I don't know, I'm a survival noob. Ah. Hold off the water mites! Help break the walls. Oh, you're so smart. I mean, you, you created this, but still. Thank you, that is exactly the right thing. Okay. Oh no, I hit F5. Hang on. Let's just take care of these guys. Come on, water flows. <laughs> I am smart. Mind the walls PNG. I agree, Sky Knight, I agree. Come on now. Okay, that's pretty good. Hello, friends. <gasps> Something hit me. You hit me. Our friends are coming in the room. Hello. These guys are easy now. It's just the water mites I have to worry about. I wish I could place the walls back. Just be like, no, you shall not pass. We are going to save Orange. The story is about Orange. Hey, we're actually like, we have some breathing room now. Cool. Hunter boots. I think I already have those. Yep, I do. So is there something in here? Oh, obviously the walls. Let's get some chicken soup. Heal up. <laughs> Trog, you did not just do that. Thank you so much. Oh my goodness. I don't even have any like uh, fancy overlays or anything. Trog, thank you so much for the $5. Oh my goodness. I think that's how that works. I, I have no idea. I've never seen that before. You are awesome. Oh my goodness. Thank you. <laughs> My first donation ever in my life and I and I missed it. I'm such a dummy. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Well, thank you so much. Thank you so much. That that helps out the channel a whole lot and I really appreciate it. That is that is super super generous of you. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Now you can watch me get my butt kicked. Ah, we're good. The drippy chandeliers. Oh yeah, that was fun. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I, I that turned out a lot better than I thought it would. I I didn't I didn't really know where it was gonna go. Um. So yeah, that was that was super cool. Um, and it just took me that long. It took that long. You know what's funny? Um, I because I I know I threw it one your way the other day. It took me forever to get it figured out. It is actually not that easy to get set up and and donate. So. Um, the fact that you did, thank you for going through the pains and process of that. I really appreciate it. Um, looks like we got an upgrade, everybody. Dippy 8, Dippy, Forest Keeper. This is a cool little helmet here. Hello, I'm beautiful. A face only a mother could love. <laughs> All right, uh, I guess we make our way through. Let's get a little bit of health on. You see, pressing F5 gives you a new perspective. It gives you a perspective of dying. Whoa! Super cool! Guys, this was made by one person. Oh no. Okay. Sewer fish? Oh my goodness. Well, this is not fun. Okay. Break line of sight. Rule number one. Rule number two. Break, keep breaking line of sight. Oh my gosh. Okay. You stinking sewer fish. What do I do? I guess I just have to chip away at him, right? Ah, he did the spoon thing on me. You know, it's a spoon on the side there. You see that? Why is it a spoon? Does anybody know? I mean, I know what it means, but... Oh, I can't even whack him anymore. Okay, we need to break line of sight again. How do I do that? Let's see. Kill the fish. I hope I can. I really do, genuinely. Orangey, please protect me. Oh my gosh, these guys are tough. 
Chicken soup? They are kicking my butt. They are actually genuinely kicking my butt. Oh, well this is nice though. Okay. Take a breather. Avid, stop saying stuff out of context. <laughs> I'm gonna rewatch this replay and just be face palming the whole time. Um, all right, guys, I'm gonna jump in and I'm gonna body slam that guy. Oh no! Oh. Lucas has a has a good a point. The spoon is because they use spoons to in prisons to mine the walls. Is that like the idea? Is it like takes forever? I need to get my feet on the ground. These fish are jerks. I'm just saying it now. Like, they have so much health. Look at how much health they have. Come on. Seriously, fish? I hit both of them. Keep it up. Swim. I'm swimming. I'm swimming. Ow. I'm swimming. I'll get them. I got plenty of tries. Ouchies. <laughs> It's like, if I could just respawn every second, though, then I don't need to really worry about food, do I? Come on, we're back in! Did I get one? I think I did. Ouch. Come on. Got another. Come on, every hit, every hit does something. Sewer fish! <laughs> Mom, why are the fish acting funny? Um, I'm just floating. Try swimming and stop using the axe. Okay, good point. I am swimming. Okay, yes. Axe is super effective. Come on. Yes, that's two. Oh, man. All right, one sewer fish left, and then it's just the big boy. Come on, big boy. Ow. That's fine. Come on. Hey! Where did you come from? What the? <laughs> I love when you when you get. Hey, welcome back. Uh, we are at the first boss here of Orboros Five, and I'm gonna try to take out these fish guys. These uh, sewer fish, as they're called. So let's see if I can do it. Yep. Okay. Now it's just down to the big boy. Ouch. I'm dead, right? Yes. Okay. It's all about breaking line of sight with these guys. So go right here and just hang out. We're doing it. We're doing something. Guardian of the sewers also happens to be... I'm gonna, oh no. <laughs> Player of Minecraft, don't quote me like that. Out of context. <laughs> oh, I almost got him. I know I do. Okay, heal up. Give ourselves a minute. Geronimo! I think I do more damage if my feet are on the ground. Is that true? Come on, please. Please, friend. You must go. Into the... into. Just follow the light. Gosh, this guy's got a lot of health. Alright, heal up, and we're gonna hang out. Stop what? Player of Minecraft says, Avid, stop. Stop winning? Is that what you're asking? Because that's what I'm doing right now. I just can't seem to actually finish winning. I just am starting winning. This is good. I did it! Oh, yeah! Orangey. We did it with Orangey, guys. I think we have to take Orangey on to the next level. I think I do more damage with my feet. No, on my feet. Like if I'm, if I was standing on my feet, you know what I mean. I'm hungry. Oh man, those guys have so much health. What was that? Oh, um, you can't crit when swimming. I'm pretty sure swimming is just sprinting underwater. Yeah, yeah, you definitely can't crit. All right, smelly fish are down. What level are these guys? One? That doesn't seem right. They have so much health. What am I going to do? Ah! All right, here's my pro strat, everybody. Come on. Oh. <laughs> yeah, flowing water, huh? It's tough. Tough to be so stupid. Look at you. Yeah, it's not good. 
Level one, huh? Yeah, definitely level one AI too. Oh no, I'm getting pushed. It, it goes both ways, I guess. Just, just take care of them. Just, just try to, just try to take care of them here. GG, thank you, thank you. I'm, I'm hungered, but this is the strat. This is the pro strat right now. There's so many of them. Excuse me, please. Come on now. I think I got this. Wow, that guy's got a lot of health. Oh, I'm dead. Nope, I'm alive for now. Come on, half a heart, half a heart. That's, that's obscene how much health that guy had. Whoo, yeah, that wasn't close at all. That was pretty good. <laughs> Smurt, welcome to the party. You missed the dripping alien platforms, but don't worry, I am recording this whole stream, and also you can watch the VOD, but now we are playing Orboros 5, which is a map made by WithermaxYT. Uh, they are in the chat, and uh, yeah, it's super cool. This this is so far super cool. I'm playing some epic music in the background just because I think it sets the nice scene. We also have Orangey here, the useless orange, which, uh, yep, yeah, talismans give me health and damage. Oh yeah, I, I believe it. But Orangey, I mean, Hellish Lung, I know what that is. Um, I mean, if we leave behind Orangey, how else, how, I, I couldn't live with myself if I wasn't hor holding Orangey the whole way. I, we gotta take care of him, you know? I mean, he'll be scared in my inventory. There's a book. All right, all right, ooh, what's this? Forest Keeper's chest plate, that's an upgrade, everybody. So we got Forest Keeper's helmet, Forest Keeper's chest plate, and we'll dump some of the hunter stuff and some of the junk. I mean, lore isn't junk in my opinion, but I'm I just don't need it right now. And uh, let's see, rabbit pelts, stuff that helps me. Don't want that. Talismans? Nope. No way. Orangey's the only talisman I need. Yep, that's right. Uh, okay. Golden cutlass. Sure. Pretty good. Pretty good. I'm taking the armor. Uh, let's see. You guys are still going. Funny B, you took a nap? Well, welcome back. Uh, I am playing Orboros 5 now for as long as I can. I don't even know what time it is. What time is it my time? Yeah, I'm pro probably going to have to call it at some point, but... Ooh, a ferocity dagger. I also recognize that. Um, I'm definitely... Yeah, I've definitely uh, shot myself in the foot. And I just got pants at the same time, or shoes at the same time. That's very funny. Shot myself on the foot here because I have decided to uh, only play with the useless orange. So we are going to beat Orbros 5, hopefully. I'll see how far how far and how long my voice lasts. But we're going to beat Orbros 5 with the uh, useless orange. So diamond block here. My guess is there's going to be some kind of lever that I need to find. Or there's this one. Very cool. I love that technique. That's a nice door. I appreciate a good door. From door maker to door maker. Oh, well that's terrifying. Look at them all waiting for me right there. Well, geez, look at this. Come on. That's ridiculous. Ow. Oh, this is my death. No, it's not. I should probably heal. That door, my guess, is done with armor stands. Um where the armor stands are wearing the uh, the block as a hat, uh, or my guess, as a hat maybe. And then uh, they sl you slowly lower the armor stands with teleport commands, that's my guess. I've done a lot of doors, that's one way to do it. Another way is uh, to use falling blocks, which I do in my dark gate video. If you guys haven't seen that, totally check that out, super cool. Um, but uh, yeah, lots of ways. Yep, armor stands have falling block passengers, sounds about right. That's how you make it go a lot slower, too, so it doesn't really adhere to the same, like, gravity. Oh, what? What are you doing here? Um, you can go through them, but what Withermax did was uh, they put up barrier blocks, uh, which was very, very smart. So that way it kind of still feels like the door is closed. Excuse me. Why do you have so much health? Can, you, can we just, can you please not have that much? Please. Avid nerd sounds. What nerd sounds? <laughs> Come on. Oh no, there's one behind me too. These guys have so much health. Wither Max. Try healing up. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. 
the fast respawn kind of d disincentivizes me. Um, yeah, Smurt, definitely go get some sleep. Prioritize your sleep. Prioritize your brain. Um, don't stay up too late. They only have 300 HP. Is this dagger good? Is it because I'm using the orange that everything's harder? Because if so, then that is the, I, I'm willing to accept that. Oh, you know what? What if I hit him with this? I'm super smart. No, that would be a terrible idea because those health potions are probably the only way I'm going to be able to beat certain things. Okay. Whoo, that was, that was hard. Ooh, Sky Knight, you're drawing a superhero character. What are you drawing? We got some apples and some more healing potions. You people, I oh, jeez. An infected husk killed me. Gross. All right, all right. Let's see what we can do. Infected husk. Do not infect me with your husk, please. Jeez. Health. So much. Okay. All right, let's see what's through here. Uh huh. Some baked potatoes. Your inventory management? I play creative. I'm a cheater. Uh huh. Shaman helmet. Cool. I'll take it. Uh huh. Another frosty dagger. There's got to be something in this room, right? A little secret? A little secret something? Hmm. I'm expecting to find a lever based on. Oh! I think there is a lever. Is there a lever? Yes. I found it. I'm expecting to find that because, oh, I threw it. Don't despawn. Because I assume it's gonna open up this door that's going to have another hellish swarm of something. Here we go. Yeah, even on creative, I basically clear my inventory in creative like every 15 seconds because I'm just such a mess with my inventory management. I don't even know what to do with this. I mean, I all right, let's do some, let's do some organization. Is anyone coming for me? No, oh, that looks like awfulness. You serious in there? Oh boy. Very smooth door. Yeah, super good. Yes. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, you see how many guys there are? Jeez. <laughs> nice music board too. It's like uh, shipping up to Boston style. Wow, that guy killed me in one hit. Took down half my health. <laughs> Avid, okay, Funny B says Avid in 2100. I defeated the evil dictator. What evil dictator? Uh, then I assume that's in this, what I'm playing right now. Um, and then Avid Adventures IRL episode 12. <laughs> <laughs> what on earth are you guys even getting at in chat right now? I. <laughs> Alright, this is how you play. Okay, that's not how you play. It is how I play. I'm doing it again. I need to get these guys out of the way. I need to get them out. <laughs> I summon the old one. I don't want the old one in real life, player of Minecraft. I want, I just, okay. Jeez. Okay, I have an idea. These are undead mobs, right? And I have a metric boatload of health potions. So here we go. Here we go. Oh, I didn't. It's not, it's not doing anything. I would expect that to hurt them. Maybe they're, uh, maybe they're not instant healing. Okay, well, that's fine. While I have the effect, I run past them, right? If they let me, please. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's not instant, it's regeneration. Yep, I figured. It's not the alchemist heaven. I know, Funny V, I know. Oh man. Okay, come on. This is, this is tough. I can see why uh, there's a recommendation to have this be multiplayer. Um, Cause I could see multiple people definitely being able to shoot through these guys. Please no. Okay, this is how we play. Dang it! 
cheat time. Hmm. I didn't even consider that. Yes, naturally. <laughs> oh wait, that's 10 seconds. I am not cheating. <gasps> but Galaxy told me to do it. Oh, they still have so much health. Okay. <laughs> hey yo. I you know what? And in fact, I think if I once I get through this room, I think my voice is gonna have to is gonna have to take a break. Oh my gosh, yeah. We're <laughs> after seeing that. <laughs> Seriously, GG. This is super cool. This map is awesome. Um, I am going to come back and play it. I don't know if I'll do it on stream, but I definitely want to get orangey all the way to the end. Um, so I want to thank you guys so much. My voice is totally, <laughs> is totally tired. So I want to thank you guys so much for being here today on this stream. Um, and yeah, I, I will I will see you all next time. Um, actually, I will be streaming on Friday with Devin's Desk. So I will see you all on Friday if you want to hang out. And this stream will, of course, be live um, and on Avid Mick Jr. And the replay is also on my main channel. Um, but thank you guys so much and take care. Enjoy the long weekend if you're in the US. And, uh, and yeah, thank you so much. Bye-bye.